get magical peeps or get magical gummy bears. I do love peeps, but I think I'm gonna go with the gummy bears. Eat a gummy to get superpower. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna go with pink since, you know, I'm wearing pink today. Pink power activated. Cool. But wait, what does that emoji mean? Am I gonna be super fast or something? Pop quiz today, and you only got five minutes. Excuse me, teacher, do you think I could have a little more time since I'm a very slow test taker? No special treatment. Get to your test. Your time begins now. Here you go, I'm done. I hope I finished it quick enough. It's only been 30 seconds and you finished all the questions. How did you do that? Um... I can't believe I have super speed now. Uh, I left my head in gym class, but my mom's gonna pick me up soon. Girl, don't worry, I got you. Here you go. Whoa, thanks. There you are. You left the kitchen a mess last night. Go clean it. Okay, I will. Uh-oh. Yesterday, that super speed almost gave me a concussion. So today, I'm gonna go with yellow and hope for the best. Yellow power's activated. Whoa, does that mean I'm gonna have ice powers like Elsa? Nothing's happening. Maybe it just takes a little time to master my powers. Let me try something. Come on. Freeze. Freeze. Achoo! I guess my power is frost breath. Hey, Weird, do you have super speed now? Do you think you could run to Paris and buy us some clothes? We'd pay you for it. I'm sorry. I actually don't have that power anymore. Today I have... Stop talking. If you don't have super speed and you can't get us clothes, we don't care anymore. She's such a pick-me girl, I swear. She is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ow. <laughs> it's not funny. Did you just injure two students? Um, stop! What are you- Bro, she just froze the principal. Yesterday, my powers turned my teacher into a frozen ice sculpture, and she barely survived, so I think today I'm gonna go with green. Honey, the school just called and said that you've been eating magical gummy bears that have been giving you superpowers, and you've been using them to hurt students and the principal? They've expelled you from the school. No, look, I didn't mean to. I Give me that. These are getting taken from you. No, please. I didn't even get to try out all the colors yet. Just give them back. Okay, sweetheart. Whatever you say. Green power activated! Green must be mind control. Mom, I'm gonna go to school and fix everything. Do not touch these, okay? Okay, honey. I won't. <gasps> it's her. Girls, girls, come over here and talk to me for a second. <laughs> what? Both of you are gonna forget that I made you slip and fall on ice, and you're never gonna talk to me again. Okay, okay whatever, whatever you say. say. Uh, you're gonna forget that I have superpowers as well. Okay. okay. You. Hi, Principal Lainey. Um, you no longer hate me, and I'm no longer expelled. Yes, dear. That sounds good. Hey, I saw you freeze the principal. Come here, come here. What? No, you didn't. You're gonna forget everything you saw about me, and you don't know I have superpowers. Mom, I'm back. Where's my gummy bears? I threw them out because you're not supposed to have candy. You what? Where did you throw them? In the garbage can. Oh, dear. Sorry, honey. It's trash day. No, no, wait. Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But Daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No! You're being sus. Mommy, Daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales, and she said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public. I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%? That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. 
Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're gonna get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... or I'm gonna scream. Okay, alright. It's cancelled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! Oh. Todd! How dare you! He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script! Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. Alright, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not gonna see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're gonna get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? <sighs> Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them! Ooh. Ooh. <coughs> Todd, you're- Shh, quiet. They're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's gonna kick your ass. I'd like to see him tr- oh! Yes, Todd, get them! Ooh. 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 And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. Anytime. Come on, give me an X. Oh, no, no, no. I cannot be a hider. My whole family are seekers. Concealer, please don't fail me now. Okay, let's see your mark. <gasps> yes, I knew Our it. Our girl is a seeker. Now we can finally tell you how the game works. So, of course, there's hiders and there's seekers, but everyone wants to be a seeker. The hiders are given a certain amount of time to hide, and then we get to go find them. When you find the hiders, do you... No, honey. <sighs> okay. We knock them out, and then we trade them in for money. What? If you turn in a family member that's a hider, you get a million. Well, I mean, that's kind of stupid, because family members, they are worth a lot more than money. Right? I'd turn your butt in in five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, what? you're sweating. No. You okay? Um, no, I actually think that I might be bleeding, so I'm gonna go wash my face. I'll be right back. Oh, shit, I knew it. The makeup came off. What the? Ellie. No, you're a hider. I can explain. You little liar. I'm telling mom and dad. Kim's a hider. What? What? She faked her mark. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Because I, I was scared. Attention, the game has begun. All hiders now have two hours to find a hiding spot. Go hide. No. You have to. Just don't let us find you. But hide now, damn it. Get out of here. This is my spot. I don't know where to hide. All the flights are booked and all the buses are filled. What am I going to do? <laughs> Shh. Listen, you're about to get caught. Hey, I said you're about to get caught. Come on, let's go. You're a seeker. You're trying to trick me. 
This mark is fake. If I were a real seeker, you'd be knocked out by now. Just play along. What? Shh, don't say anything. Well, well, what do we have here? You caught a hider, huh? Yeah, she was a hard one to find, but I finally caught her. We were just leaving, actually. Nah, she's not going anywhere. Don't touch her! Um, are hiders allowed to fight back? No, not really. Run! Oh, shit. Quick, in there! Whoa, wait, what is that? An underground tunnel I made. Now come on! I am not going down there. I don't even know if I can really trust you. I've gotten you this far, haven't I? We have to go now. We'll be safe down here. Why are you helping me? Because you. Who gave you that necklace? My sister. Get rid of that necklace. Your sister is tracking you. No, she... she wouldn't. Oh, yes, she would. We need to keep moving. No. Excuse me? Yeah, I want to know why you came out of nowhere like like some ninja and saved me, but you don't even know me. It's because you remind me of my sister who got traded in by my family. They traded in your sister for a million dollars? Yeah, and from then on, I've been trying to protect all the hiders I can. What was that? They found my tunnel. I'll distract them. You run. No, I'm not gonna leave you. Yes, you are. I'm not losing another girl on my watch. Now go! <laughs> Ellie? Found you. You're it. Oh. Sorry, sis. That necklace led me right to you. Time to get my million. Nighty night, Kim. Time to get my money. Where am I? And what am I wearing? We're in Hyder Prison, and that's our uniform. They think we're related. Really? I mean, we do kind of look alike, I guess. You remind me of my sister, who got traded in by my family. Do you have a brother that's a hider? Yeah, why? Because I think I know him. He tried to save me, but my sister turned me in. He is so worried about you. There has to be some way out of here. After you get caught, you have the option to end the game, but if you do, you die. Someone has to sacrifice themselves to save everyone else. That's why no one ends the game. I'll do it. My whole family turned against me, so I really have nothing, and you deserve to be with your brother. No. Want to end the game? It'll be okay. No, please. Congratulations, your bravery has made you leader. Our marks are gone. You pick the next game. Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop. <laughs> don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the... <laughs> Wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh, hey, girly, I'm new to this school, just wanted to introduce myself, but I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. Baby, come back. Oh look, it's the girl who got cursed to sing. Why you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh oh. Okay, your makeup's done. I told you I could do it. Oh, I forgot to brush your teeth. Chloe, come help your sister brush your teeth, please. Mom, no, I think I'd rather die. <laughs> Mom said, come on. Hurry up. Also, you're gonna get dress coded for that top. No, I'm not. Mom already talked to the teachers. This was the only top she could get on me without me moving my arms. Oh, Mom told me also someone's gonna be helping you do everything today. Whatever, can you just brush my teeth already? <laughs> okay, sissy, smile. Here comes the toothbrush. Mom said your crush is gonna be the one helping you today. What? Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Drake. I'm gonna be the one helping you take your test today. The teacher said you just tell me what answer you want me to write and I'll write it for you. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, and for the last multiple choice question? C? It's actually B, but I, I won't tell anybody. Are you sure you're gonna get an A on this? 
Look, it's the girl who can't move her arms. <laughs> guys, come on, grab her. What the heck? Let go of me. <laughs> oh, this isn't funny, guys. Let me out. Just open the door. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> Later, loser. Hello, anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. Are you gonna tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just gonna tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse, it, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food? But he's allergic. I know. It's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey, you. I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drake, you know, I would literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My, my curse, curse is, is broken. broken! Mommy, what are you looking at? Uh, nothing, honey. Well, what's a sugar daddy? It's a candy. <laughs> well, then I wish for a sugar daddy. No! Oh, why did you do that? Look, guys, it's Sugar Daddy Girl. Shut up. I was six, okay? At least I won't have to worry about money. You did not just say that. I bet she's looking forward to it. Mom, are you sure there's no way for me to change my wish? Your wish is permanent, honey. I'm sorry. I can't help feeling like this is all my fault. It's because it kind of is. What was that? Nothing. Love you, Mom. Here's your test back. Can I see you after class, please? Mr. Smith, if this is about my grade and my test, I- No, no, it's not about that. And, uh, please, call me Darren. Darren, I mean, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, what are you doing? Well, this might come as a bit of a shock to you, but I actually really like you, Brina. As more than just a student. In fact, I really don't even need this job. I just teach here so I can see you. What? Yeah, I'm actually a multimillionaire, and I'm looking for someone like you to spoil. Um, I- Please, Brina, just think about it. All I would ask for is one favor in return. Mom, I think my wish just came- Honey, I don't feel good. Call an ambulance. What's going on with your doctor? Your mother needs a kidney transplant, but her insurance does not cover it. Well, how much does the surgery cost? 145000 out of pocket. Do it. I'll cover the expenses. Are you sure? Hey, Brina, did you change your mind? Yes, I'll do you a favor, but no one can know about this, okay? Of course, of course. Now, what did you want in return? $145,000. How much did your teacher give you? one hundred and forty-five dollars to cover the surgery. Brina, are you kidding me? I know it sounds bad, but he just wanted to take me out to dinner, and he said all he wants to do is pay for my meal and just talk. Are you insane? There's no way on earth I'm letting my baby girl go meet up with some creep. He's 40 years old and you're still a minor. I know, but they said your insurance isn't going to cover your surgery. I was trying to save you. Listen to me. I will take money out of my savings. Mom, you will go broke. I don't care. Now you go give that teacher his money back right now. No daughter of mine is going to have a sugar daddy. But mom... I said no. Hey, you're early. Actually, I'm not going out to dinner with you after all. What? Why? I told my mom and she... You told your mom? Yeah, so listen, here's your check back. No! This wasn't a part of our deal. Hey! You're coming with me. Wait here. I'll be right back. I have to get out of here. Wait. He's an idiot. He didn't even take my phone. All right, I'm back. Here, I bought this for you. Put it on. Yeah, that's not happening. Please put it on, Brina. I'd like you to wear that. Oh, so now you want to be nice. You know what? Can I ask you something? Honestly, why are you so obsessed with me out of all the other students? Because you... You remind me of my wife when she was younger. She passed away right after we got married. Ever since then, I haven't really been the same. Whoa, now I almost feel bad for doing this to you. Doing what? It's all clear, guys. Police, let me see your hands. 
Oh, I'm so happy you're okay. Yeah, I just don't get it though. I wish for a sugar daddy, not for a creepy stalker teacher. Well, honey, look what came for you in the mail today. Wait, so it is a candy? <laughs> yep, and after I sue that teacher, we'll have plenty of money to pay for my surgery. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Uh, this is a disaster. I have to film for my spy series, and I have no idea what to wear. Oh no, one of my studio lights just fell over and broke. Uh, my lighting is going to look terrible now. Bree, come on, it's almost time to film. Coming. Uh, I gotta think of something, and quick. Wait, I have an idea. Ooh, I really love these outfit ideas for my spy character, Maya. Let's see, I think this outfit would be perfect for her. Yes, I knew this app would help. These tips should help with my lighting issue. This is perfect, I'll use this as a guide to help style the outfit. I'm gonna need these, this. Ooh, and these shoes match the photo pretty well. Okay, I think I found all the items. Time to see what it looks like on. I'm ready to record. Well, love the fit, Brie, and you put it together so fast. What's your secret? Thanks, I actually use the Lemonade app. Huh? Lemonade? <laughs> no, Lemon 8. Oh, Lemon and number 8. I'm gonna download it right now. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly very helpful for all sorts of different tips and tricks. Sweet, love it. Oh, and by the way, you can actually follow me on there if you want. I can. Look. Okay, girl, you just got a new follower. I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Sienna's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> Who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son. Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. I bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Hey. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey, I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly! Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey. You all right? Mm-hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. It's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing? Dad? We were just talking, Jack. It's Mr. Frost to you, and I know flirting when I see it. No son of mine will be with a Kringle. Stop! That isn't fair. Ow! Dad, let go! No, son. We're leaving, and he's never going to see you again. It's okay, Holly. Just go! Mom, Dad! 
Why are you guys looking at me like that? Because for the first time in 18 years... You, Holly, are on the naughty list. Okay, I can explain. It's because I haven't been very truthful about who I got as a soulmate. Why? Who did you get, Holly? The son of Jack Frost. What? <gasps> what? His whole family is cold-hearted. But Jared is different. Ho <laughs> ho. Frosts are nothing but bad news. And you, young lady, are grounded for lying to us. That's right. You heard your mother. Go to your room. I have to save Jared. Who knows what Jack Frost is doing to him? Holly, I could help you. Winky, what are you doing here? Well, you see, I may or may not have been eavesdropping on you all day. Actually, I could use your help. Sweet, if I've already hatched the plan on how you can save Jared. You have? I'm a sucker for a good book and love story, plus mm -hmm. I totally ship you guys. Winky. Step one is to get your mom and dad to take an afternoon soon, which has already been completed. But they never take afternoon naps. Well, let's just say I gave them some special milk and cookies. <gasps> Winky! Sorry, it was the only way, but come with me. I think Jared's in danger. This is the house, and I overheard Jack telling Jared he's gonna lock him in the basement. Okay, you distract Jack, and I'll go save Jared. Deal. You can watch the full ending on my YouTube channel now. Darling, please let us see your mark. Oh, she has a diamond. Honey, we're billionaires. If she didn't, someone would be losing their head. Dad. It's just an expression, dear. Now I will show you this chart, and your father will explain. This is our money status. The diamond gem means, you know, we're rich. The middle class is red gem. You can talk to them, but really, don't make friends with them. And the green gem is poor. Don't you ever talk to these people. They're a big no from me. I can't wait for you to show all your friends how rich you are when you go to your New Year's Eve party tonight. Nobody needs to know how rich I am. Guys, please, I was just gonna grab a couple appetizers and then I'll be out of here. Sorry, did you not read the sign? No green marks allowed to my party. That was brutal. Excuse me. I'll get us food, Mom. I'm gonna paint my mark red so I could sneak back into the party. Mom, let me call you back. Hey, you, freeze. Whoa, whoa, listen, I'm not gonna tell on you. Yeah, right. You know what? Your mark looks fake, too. Here, wipe it off. Let's see if you're the real deal. Do it. Okay, okay. What the? You're a diamond mark? I wanna help you. You, you do? Why would you want to help me? I literally held a gun to you. Well, first of all, I can tell that's a Nerf gun spray painted black. Ugh, dang it. Wait, how did you know that? It says Nerf or nothing on the side. Also, I overheard you talking to your mom about you needing food. Is that true? Yeah, that's the whole reason I came to this party. We kind of ran out of food yesterday. I'm so sorry. No one deserves to go hungry, especially not on New Year's Eve. Come with me. I'm going to take you to my house. We're going to your place? Yes, we have tons of food and... Oh, but you're Mark. Huh? Okay, I originally brought this as body shimmer for the New Year's Eve party, but we're gonna use it to make your mark look like my mark. Uh-huh. Just stay still for me. Why- why are we doing this exactly? Well, technically, I'm not allowed to talk to green mark. Seriously? Wow. Hey, it's my parents' rule, not mine. The mark actually looks pretty real. Come on, let's go. Okay. Thanks for the food. Oh, it's no trouble, really. And since you said you needed money for you and your mom, I'm gonna give you one of my Christmas presents that I'm really not gonna use. It's a brand new MacBook Pro. I already have like three of them. Thanks, but I don't have a home, so I don't have Wi-Fi. I wish I could let you and your mom stay here in this mansion. Nah, it's cool. Oh. What? Your mark is kind of smearing. I can see the green. Oh, shoot. Darling! Honey, where are you? Wait, how long am I gonna have to be in here? I don't know, but I can't see with the green marks. But I'm sorry. Oh, there you are, darling. We were looking for you. Your mom and I are leaving for a business trip for a month. You are? I mean, you are? Yeah, but before we go, let's refresh what I told you about the marks, okay? Oh, no, guys, I really don't need to- ah, Take the chart, and remember what did your father tell you? Now, do red marks make good friends? No. That's right. And what did I say about green marks? Don't talk or make friends with them. You know these rules are ridiculous, right? I mean, did you guys ever think that maybe we should help others that are less fortunate? I mean, maybe every once in a while we could help the green marks out with some food or maybe even some shelter? Don't be ridiculous. Do you understand how hard we work to get where we are today? We're not gonna waste it on those green marks. Okay. Sometimes I wonder if she's truly our daughter. Okay, after that, Thanks again for letting my mom and I stay here. We really appreciate it. 
You're such a beautiful, kind young girl. I wish my mom was like you. I'm sure she loves you very well. Well, what do we have mom, here? Mom, Dad, you guys weren't supposed to be back until tomorrow. Yeah, we got back early. I want these green marks out of my house right now. No, if they leave, then I leave too, because they're good people and they have nowhere else to go. Them being poor is not our problem, and you're not going to leave. I will. I'll take what's mine and I'll leave. Huh. What's yours? You own nothing. If you leave, your mark will turn green and you'll become poor. Then so be it. You know, there's more to life than just being rich or poor. At the end of the day, it's what makes you happy and it's about helping others. And you guys were hardly ever here for me anyways. And when you were, I wish that you weren't. Oh, honey. Just stop. Because these people have been nicer to me in the one month that they've been here than you guys have ever been. And I realize it's better to be poor and happy than to be rich and miserable. Come on, guys. Let's go. We didn't mean to make you give up your mark. You don't deserve to be out here in the rain. We're sorry. Don't be. I've been wanting to tell them that for a while anyways. It's not even that bad out here. It's just a little rain. And a lot of thunder. Darling, are you out here? Mom? Dad? Oh, honey, there you are. Come on, all of you. Come in the car. Please hurry. I think we're good. Darling, please, what you said about the money. You're right. We should help others, and we're gonna be different from now on. Do you promise? We promise, and we have more than enough room for your friends in our mansion. Are you guys okay with going back to live with me and my parents? If you're okay with it, then we're okay with it. Exactly. We did enjoy living there after all. If anywhere moves, we can get out of there. Yeah, gotcha. But right now, what I think we all should do is get out of this room. Agreed. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tag your hit! Pencil selected. Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich, I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now, but instead I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous, and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it- is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye. I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand, see? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you- My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool! Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well watch what I'm gonna do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now or you're grounded. Or, I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it! <gasps> hey! This thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, Mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again! 
Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> hey. Go away. Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want? And I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? All right, fine, but we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean... I'm now a multi-millionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. Do you think mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish, because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? Cat sit for a millionaire, or baby sit for a billionaire. I do love cats, but I am allergic, and I think the billionaires are gonna pay more. Thank you for coming. How does 5,000 an hour sound? 5,000? Mm-hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no, that's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha and Thomas. Now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question, when you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is home school. Oh, okay. And of course, our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, thank you for this room, Your kids are in great... Yes. Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. They're just dreams, sweetheart. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sarah. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood? Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> 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 the I don't really see how this is funny. The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, thank you, but can you watch the kids next Saturday? Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sewa! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? Uh, yeah, I miss you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I'm sorry. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. What does renovating mean? It means, like, to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's probably just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Me and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. That means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? It's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it. So when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. 
Say, well, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I want to be with you. What's that? It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha? She's calling me. She's trying to trick you. I told you. She's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you gonna call the police? My phone died. Shh, Thomas, stop crying. Found you. Don't be scared just because the kids are stolen. It doesn't mean we don't love them. No, you leave the children alone. Yeah. Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame. You're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the attic. That was hers. And now you're... Oh, oh. Surprise. I'm still alive. Susie. I'm okay. Just call the police. Go get help. Come on, Tabitha. Let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She she was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would still- A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling me the truth about people. You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over here. <sighs> hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or- Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. She was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. <sighs> what? It's jammed. Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You've got all the directions. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash. You're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know. Now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to. My boss knows my license plate. He could have tracked us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so... 
What's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Yeah, I think he's doing this okay. We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Jack. Looking for Jack. You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... She must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the? This thing just spoke to me. What did it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to the- It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna- Hey, that's enough. Did you just- No, don't worry. They were just trying darts. Now let's get you free. I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not going to turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was going to happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. See, today's the day we get to pick what type of parents we want to be adopted by. It looks like we can either do mafia bosses or archaeologists. What do those parents do? Uh, I think archaeologists study rocks or something, but I don't know what mafia bosses do. We should ask some of the other foster kids. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I picked to be adopted by a billionaire. Do you know what mafia boss means? We're trying to figure it out so we can pick one for our adoption. <laughs> you two don't know what mafia means? No. no. Oh, well, let me tell you, they are so cool. Yeah, you should totally pick that option. Really? Yeah, I've heard they're like really nice people. But what about the archaeologists? Ew, boring. Pick, pick the, the mafia. mafia. Pick, pick the, the mafia. mafia. Okay, okay. Your new parents are here, girls. Hello, we are Mr. and Mrs. Stefano. We'll take the little one. What? Come here, child. <gasps> Sissy, now wait a minute. You can't separate them. They're sisters. Heard the adoption lady. You can't separate us. We're sisters. We only wanted one kid. I won't stop crying if you don't adopt my sister, too. She's not lying. She won't. All right. We will adopt both of them. Yay. Okay, let's go. You two. You're never allowed in this room. Got it? Yes. Uh-huh. He can be harsh, but he is actually a bit softy. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your real parents? Shh. It's okay, Mom and Dad will be back to pick us up soon. Sweetheart, your parents plane, it crashed. They didn't make it. No, no. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah. Why don't you two go check out your new room? Okay. okay.
I'm glad we get to stay together. Me too, Maisie. Good night. Ooh. Mr. Stefano, I've been hearing some loud noises coming. Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. Sissy, you, you haven't talked all morning. Are you okay? Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. We have to get out of here, Maisie. Huh? But we just got adopted. Maisie, come with me, darling. I have ice cream. <gasps> ice cream! Your sister will be fine, but your father wants to speak to you now. Go on. He's in his office. There she is. Please, take a seat. I think I'll stand. Thanks. Why is there a gun on the table? Well, I was gonna teach you how to use it. No need. You're brave. I like it. You tell me why you killed that man last night right now because I was under the impression that mafia bosses were supposed to be nice. Nice? <laughs> Whoever told you that must not have liked you very much. You see, my wife and I's job is very secret, so because of that we gotta be no. tough. But I'm always gonna have a soft spot for my girls. We are not your girls. My sister and I are leaving this place and we are never coming back. Oh boy. Listen, kid, I'm really sorry you had to see that last night, but I promise I'm no. gonna- No. Goodbye, Mr. Stefano. We will get adopted by someone else. Not so fast. Don't you want to know the truth about your real parents? What? What if I told you the plane crash they died in was all a hoax? Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item? I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please. Just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> You know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah. Do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying, um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. 
Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so. Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What do you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Cats sit for a millionaire or baby sit for a billionaire. I do love cats, but I am allergic. And I think the billionaires are going to pay more. Thank you for coming. How does 5,000 an hour sound? 5,000? Mm-hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no. That's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha and Thomas. Now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question, when you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is home school. Oh, okay. And of course, our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, thank you for this room, Mr. Parker. Your kids are in great... Damn. One fell off and bonked his head. Oh, it's already 8 o'clock. It's time for bed. Uh, Sawa? Yes? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. They're just dreams, sweetheart. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sawa. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood. Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> <laughs> blood in the I, I don't really see how this is funny. The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, thank you, but can you watch the kids next Saturday? Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sawa! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? Uh, yeah, I miss you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I'm sorry. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. What does renovating mean? It means, like, to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Me and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. And that means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? It's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it. So when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. 
Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. Say, well, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I want to be with you. What's that? It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha? She's calling me. She's trying to trick you. I told you. She's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you gonna call the police? My phone died. Shh, Thomas, stop crying. Found you. Don't be scared, just because the kids are stolen. It doesn't mean we don't love them. No, you leave the children alone. Yeah, Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame. You're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the attic. That was hers. And now you're... Oh, oh. Surprise! I'm still alive. Susie! I'm okay. Just call the police. Go get help. Come on, Tabitha. Let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She... she was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would still leave a letter or a mystery gift from my soulmate. I mean, I gotta go with mystery gift. Package is ready. That was fast. Whoa, the gift is in the shape of a question mark. And it says it's from Maniso. I think it's time to see what's inside. The gift turned into a heart after I opened it. Cool, look at all these mysterious compartments. I'm so excited to see what's in them. Let's open this one first. It's from Toy Story. It's Lotso. Let's see what's in this one. Ooh, it's cinnamon roll. Looks like each of these packages will contain different figurines. I got so many blind boxes. Let's unbox some and see what's inside. Oh, this Sanrio one is so cute. This Stitch one is super adorable. I got the Stitch that came with the car. Look, it's little cinnamon roll. I wonder which one I got. Oh my goodness, how charming. All the little characters you sent me are so adorable. And it's so fun unboxing the blind boxes because you never know what characters you're gonna get until you unbox them. This makes such a great holiday gift. My soulmate must really love me to send me this. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 toy pencils. pencils! Really? Honey, they're magic pencils! Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I'll get the baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say, okay, mom. I'll get you, baby! I think today I'm going to go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's... Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is... What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. 
Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey! Give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the? Uh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you too. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Good morning, children. Oh, good morning. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah. Good. Come here. I have a surprise for you. Surprise! Whoa, is that a gaming system? Look at all these video games! I've never seen so many squish models in my life! They're all yours. Hungry for Starbucks? You have a Starbucks in your house? That is so cool. Would you two like some frappuccinos? Yes, yes please. please. Children, I have to go to a meeting. Please stay in this room until I get back. Hey, Molly, aren't you glad you gave him a chance? <laughs> what are you doing? We're not supposed to use our powers. Someone could see us. Chill out. No one's around. Come play with us, Molly. <laughs> Come on, I know you want to use your powers. <laughs> Your koala better square up. <laughs> Stop. What? What happened? I don't know. I just feel like something's wrong. Up there. Oh no. A camera. That means he's been watching us this whole time and he knows about our powers. Let's get out of here. I think I know how we can escape. I see you found the camera. You two aren't going anywhere. I know you both have powers. And I'm not letting you two leave this place ever. What do you want from us? I want you to help me take over the world. You're crazy. <gasps> Maybe, but now you're stuck with me. Take them to the experiment room. No! It's gonna be okay. Give me that. You give her that back or else... <sighs> you try anything and he'll attack you. Hey, you can talk to animals, right? I haven't done it in a really long time. He's gonna be back any minute, just try. <gasps> Please calm down. We need your help. We don't mean you any harm. Good boy, now go do what I told you. He's gonna help us escape. Yes, I knew that would work. Whoa, boy, what are you doing? Hey, get off of me! Run! Wait, I almost forgot. Molly, come on! Watch out, another bodyguard is coming! Let's go! Hello? Did your penguin just talk? Molly, Max, is that you? Yes, it's us. Who is this? It's me, your mom. And me, your dad. What? It's a long story, but all of us aren't from this planet. Molly, let me see that. We believe we're close by. You. Follow your instincts and find us. I think it's really them. Let's go meet them. You are not meeting anyone. You two belong to me. No, we don't. Molly, now. Oh. Hey, put me down. Okay. Whatever, Whatever you, you say. say. 
Time to go find our real parents. No way, this has got to be it. This is the ship. I kind of remember it now. I think I see mom and dad. Come on. See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. I just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather from middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really is the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished the workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Wow. He hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, x equals two and y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <sighs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Natty, literally come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually gonna put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. My soulmate picks what decade I dress from or what decade I eat from. I'm just gonna let him dress me. I mean, how bad can it be? Bye, Mom. I'm going to class. Honey, you haven't dressed like that since middle school. Aw, look at you. I wasn't wearing... What? Oh, sweetie. Did you let your soulmate dress you? Yeah. Well, I'm not wearing this to school. Why is this not coming off? You may not. Remove that You gotta that be fit. kidding me. Honey, those low-rise jeans are not it. Pull them up. Thanks, Mom. What in the Mean Girls are you wearing? My soulmate decided what time period I dressed from, and he picked early 2000s. <laughs> Did the Hello Kitty give it away? Girl, we all picked the food option. What is wrong with you? Well, how long is this going to go on for? Pretty sure it's until we kiss our soulmates. What? No, that could take forever, and all my stuff are turning into things from the 2000s. I have a flip phone now. Yikes. Sucks to be you. Hey, Mean Girls called. They want their wardrobe back. <laughs> For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. For the next outfit, please be present time. The year 3000. Oh no. What am I wearing? I can't go to school like this. Ugh. You may not remove the outfit. 
<laughs> What's up, cyborg? <laughs> you know what? Joke is on you guys, because in the year 3000, everyone is going to be dressed like this. So I'm actually ahead of the fashion trends. Right, well, until then, guess we get to enjoy your little fashion show. Can't wait to see what outfit her soulmate picks next. <laughs> Why do you look so happy? Because I learned I can take off these glasses, just as long as I keep them on my head. I think you lost a lip gem, and you kind of looked better with the glasses on. You gotta help me find my soulmate, because I am not gonna be able to stop dressing in these ridiculous outfits until I kiss him. Sorry, girl. I mean, he's out there somewhere. You'll find him eventually. <sighs> what the? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? Please, just for the next outfit, present time, okay? The 60s. 60s? Mom? Honey, I don't know why you're mad. You look so cute. Mom, this isn't cute. It's embarrassing. Please, don't make me go to school. You have a math test today. You're going. No way. <laughs> she looks like she's straight out of Teen Beach movie. <laughs> Hey, why haven't you been responding to my messages? You see, I wasn't able to because my phone turned into this today. Is that a radio? Sorry, girl. I gotta find my soulmate. Hey, what? I was talking around and I think I know somebody who knows your soulmate. Who? Shh, there's no talking during the test. I'll tell you tomorrow. Another day, another outfit. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. The 90s would be fun. Let's try for that. The 80s. I'm afraid to look. Oh my gosh, this might be the worst one yet. Am I wearing roller skates? Oh man. Mom! <laughs> Can we stop with the photos for like one second, please? Because this is serious. I can't go to school like this. It's against dress code. Can't you change into something else? Trust me, I have tried. You may not remove outfit. You'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. Okay, well, thanks for the help. Oh, hey. Sorry. Watch it. Oh, wow. Please tell me you have information about my soulmate. I do. So recently, there's this guy who's been tweeting stuff like, have you seen this girl wearing a 3000s outfit or a 60s outfit? Those are the outfits that I've been wearing. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. I know. Problem is, yesterday, he deleted his account. How am I even supposed to find him? Well, I'll keep doing some more digging. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. Later, loser. <laughs> you know, when I find him, he is so dead. What's he gonna do next, huh? The 70s? Medieval times. What? Medieval times. Oh, and just when I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. Mom. Oh, honey, smile. Okay, Mom, please tell me you were not posting these photos on your Facebook. Well, I was. Mom. But I stopped because this boy was commenting weird things and he wanted to know where you lived, so I blocked him. Wait, Mom, that could have been my soulmate. Oh, maybe. Please, just unblock him and message him, okay? All right. Okay, so I did some more digging and I found out your soulmate's name. Oh, thank goodness, because I am so done dressing like this. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta take this call. No, no, just tell me his name right now because... I'll be right back. Hello? Delaney! Wow, so we got a princess at her school now. <laughs> Could I have your crown? No, I want it. Actually, guys, the crown really won't come off my head. Yeah, right. Get her. Guys, come on. Hurry up and change me out of this outfit right now. I got six students after this crown. Honey, I found your soulmate. Caveman era. Please tell me I'm wearing clothes. Well, you are, but look. Oh, what the? I can't believe this. Um, honey? No, mom, you told me you knew my soulmate's name. So go ahead and tell me, because once I find out, he's going to regret giving me this. What is that sound? Sweetheart, stay still. Please don't tell me it's what I think it is. Try to stay calm. Mom, just tell me everything I need to know about my soulmate. Okay, his name is Jason and he's gonna meet me after class. Got it. Honey, wait, that dress is so short, you could get dress coded. You know, if they haven't dress coded me by now, I think I'm good. Oh my gosh, is that a snake? Yeah, that's right. Say hello to my little friend. Ugh, please, stay back, I'm sorry for being mean. Oh, whoops. Hey, my apologies. I didn't mean to... It's you. It's me. I'm your soulmate. I was the one that contacted your mom. So you're the guy who's been picking all these crazy outfits for me? Yeah, and actually, I gotta say, I think this one's my best work yet. <laughs> so you think this is funny? I mean, maybe just a little bit. Oh, that is it, you little jerk. Oh, jeez. Do you have any idea how much you embarrassed me? 
I'm sorry, that was never my intention. I'm just really into history. And I thought it might be fun to dress up my soulmate in the most beautiful outfits I've ever seen throughout the eras. Damn it, that's actually kind of sweet. I guess I got a little carried away, but you're rocking all of them. But I'm sorry. Alright, I guess in that case I can forgive you. I think now's the part where you're supposed to kiss me so I can, you know, stop dressing like this. Oh, uh, well, wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you've got to try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. Wait just a minute. There's one more outfit that you've got to try on. Oh no, I really don't, um... Ancient Rome. What did you do to me? What am I wearing? Here, take a look. You know what? I'm not mad at this. <laughs> See? I knew you'd like it. Okay, you've had your fun using me as your model. Now, where's my kiss? <laughs> Come here. You may dress freely. Yes, finally. Would you like to pick what era your soulmate dresses from? What? Hey, now wait just a minute. Guys, she's over here, and she's got a new outfit. What are you supposed to be, Medusa? <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see what I've had to put up with? So if I'm gonna get made fun of, so are you. Wait. Seriously, you had to pick the 70s. I mean, listen, you're pulling it off really well. <gasps> oh my gosh, girl, is this Australian hottie your soulmate? Yes. Yes, he is. Do 90s, honey. Ooh, yes. Really, babe? You're giving me the baggiest pants ever? Sorry, babe, but, you know, I gotta have a little revenge. Yes, I deserve it. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself. And there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm going to paint something she would never let me have my own boyfriend honey dinners let me see that what did you paint nothing i was just scribbling really then let me see it no wait what is this this is going in the garbage please he wasn't done yet he were you trying to draw a boyfriend no give me that no this is my magic paintbrush you can't just don't tell me what i can't do i'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow sorry mom but i'm finishing this the last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend, please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that- where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry, I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. 
Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> You know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah. Do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. <coughs> what are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I, I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature, open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. <sighs> we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go, but... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. Ryan, wait. Just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you... Don't take too long to come back, okay? Mom, look. I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But... I said pick it. Okay. 
My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh! Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no. Don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me. I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you, and all I ask for is just one boyfriend, please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. <sighs> if I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop! <sighs> Mom, let go, please, you're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No! It's okay. Hey, catch! Don't give that to her! What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that. Where did she go? I uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. La 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 la. Can I play with one of your toys too? No. Why not? Because you're not my real sister. Yes, we are. Sasha said she said that we are. You're literally just proving my point. You call her Sasha, not mom. When I get a real baby sister, that's when I'll share my toys. Thank you for saving us from that evil girl. Yeah, she was so mean to us. Don't worry, guys. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Hey, Sasha. So, I was wondering, since it's almost Halloween, do you think I could get some money for a costume? If you want one, Jane, buy it yourself. Wait, you bought one for Anna. Yes, but that's, that's different. Whatever. My mom said that when she was a baby, they found her on the side of the highway. <gasps> No way. Her real parents just ditched her like that? It's no wonder that she has so many issues. Right? That makes so much more sense now. <laughs> okay, girlies, let's go do our Halloween makeup and then we'll get into our costumes. Yay! Look at this new makeup palette I got. Wait a minute. Are those my stuffed animals from when I was little? No. Uh-huh. And where did you get the money to buy that costume? I found some money on the street. You little thief! Give me that hey. bucket! Oh my gosh, is this your little stash of all my stuff? Mom, come here and look at this. <gasps> you don't even use any of that. It doesn't matter. I will not allow a thief to live in my home. So what? You're gonna kick me out? As a matter of fact, I will. Whatever. I don't need you guys anyways. I know you only adopted me, so you could look good in front of your rich friend. Oh, how dare you. Here, this is all the money I'm giving you. Good luck living on the streets. You know, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. No, dear. You're 18 now. This will be good for you, Jane. It was nice knowing you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun being broken homeless. <laughs> You know what? The heck with them. But I promised you guys I would not leave you with her. I promise I won't let her touch you again. Excuse me, miss. Do you have any spare money? I'm so hungry. How about this, hun? i I'll give you $20 for those two stuffed animals. You know what? Deal. Uh-oh, I only have pocket change. But you said you would give me 20 This isn't worth it. Sorry, honey. I gotta go. Give me back my stuffed animals. Bye. See ya. Hey! Wait a minute. She dropped her credit card. 
I hope she doesn't mind me going on a little shopping spree. Ow! Oh, goodness, I am so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Not. Excuse me, miss. Is your name Jane? No. Freeze! Jane 5, cop 0. Excuse me, miss, I'm homeless, and I was wondering if you have any money. What do you say you come work for me? Okay. Pretending to be your daughter was the perfect distraction. I told you, they never suspect a mother-daughter duo. And this is nothing, kid. If you stick with me, I got a lot more tricks where this came from. Hey, you two. They must know we stole. Stay calm, kid. I got this. Excuse me, officer. There's just been a misunderstanding. I- Officer, help! She's trying to kidnap me! What? I thought we were a team. Hands on your head. I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. I'm sorry. I can't go to jail. This isn't over, kid. Come on, let's go. Okay, you get one phone call. Hurry up. Come on, pick up. Pick up, damn it. Hello? Hey, Kate, it's me. Who? It, it's Jane. Remember I helped you steal... I mean, I helped you borrow that car one time. Oh, yes, Jane, I remember you. Yeah, listen, I am in a bit of a jam. I am currently in jail, and I'm going to need you to bail me out. What? Wait, wait, how did that happen? It's a long story. I don't want to talk about it, but uh, let's just say I'm never having kids. <laughs> you always did have a soft spot, didn't you? Okay, are you going to help me or not? Depends. Is there going to be revenge? Um, it's me. Duh. Then I'm in. See you soon, Jane. Next. What do we got here? Jane Danvers. Okay, here's your stuff. Get out. I can't believe she took your car, too. Yeah, I know. That little brat was a con artist herself. But she's gonna wish she didn't mess with me. You remember the plan? Sure do. Let's do this. Oh, hey! Oh, pardon me. I'm such a klutz. Jane. Jane, how did you get out of prison? I, uh, I got bailed out, no thanks to you. About how I took your car and turned you in. You were I... just trying to save yourself. Exactly. So, you're not mad, right? Nah, come here. Give me a hug. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, ma'am, I just saw that girl take your wallet. What? No, I didn't. Yeah, she did. It's right there in her back pocket. Hey! I didn't take her stupid wallet. She did this! Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me. Oh, oh, no. Someone call the police. You're coming with us. Get off of me! I'm telling you it was her! Later, traitor. Why, you little bit? You should have showed her, Jane. Never tried out, Conacon woman. Precisely. Randomly speak in TikTok sounds, or randomly speak in Spanish? My grandparents already do this one all the time, so... Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's going to get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm going to find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get... I'm coming in! Whoa! Hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. 
All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on. I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're going to return it. What does it even say on here? No. Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my... Amber Alert, missing girl from 2018, shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left, I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a... On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I could never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you... Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're going to take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 8 4, 4, 3, 3 2, 2, 1. 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where is that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll... Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Miss the Paca. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Miss the Paca got what he deserved. Pet said a millionaire's dog or tutor a billionaire's child. I'm pretty sure the billionaires are going to pay more. We will pay you 500 Per day? <laughs> Don't be silly, dear. Per hour? Well, that sounds terrific. Where is my son? One moment, I'll go get him. I will be right here. You're going to wish you didn't accept that job. What, is he a lot of trouble or something? You have no idea. Hello, I'm Ronald. Well, it's nice to meet you, Ronald. I'm Bree. You are really tall for 12. Yeah, can we start the tutoring now? We can start right now. Where's a good room to start? This way. Follow me. Hey, Ronald, how are you doing on that worksheet I gave you? I'm done. Here. Oh, that was really fast. <laughs> Is something wrong? 
It's just that your mom said you were really bad at math, but these all look correct. Where is your mom? On a trip. She just left. Mummy will be gone for a while. Oh, okay. Well, I kind of wish they would have mentioned that. I guess we'll just try something a little more challenging for you next time. Would you like a drink? Actually, yeah, that would be great. Thanks. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> I'm back. Sorry, you scared me. Um, do you know why there's noises coming from that hallway down there? Uh, that's my dog. I'm sorry. He's really loud. Oh, your dog. Okay. <laughs> Here's your drink. I'm actually good. I have to go catch my Uber, but I'll see you tomorrow. Text from the mom. Forgot to mention that Ronald is highly allergic to... dogs. Can we start our lesson? Not yet. Ronald, why did you lie to me? I don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, that noise I heard, you told me it was a dog. Because it is. Ronald, stop. Your mom already texted me telling me you were highly allergic to dogs. So how could you have one? Because I found it on the street and I didn't tell mommy. I'll take special meds just to be around the dog. Please, she's the only friend I got. Look, I get it. But Ronald, it's not safe for you or the dog. It's not fair to keep it down there in the basement. Why don't you and I go down there together? We can take it to the rescue shelter and find it a really good home. No, don't go down there. I just, uh, don't want you to get bit by her, because she's only used to me. Don't tell Mommy and Daddy. I promise I'll get her to the shelter. For the problem you're on right now, you're gonna need to solve for an X and a Y. X equals 25 and Y equals 6. How did you- do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> what? I said, do you have a boyfriend? Let's just focus on our work. Sorry. I was just trying to make conversation. Well, I do, but we're kind of long distance and I'm not really sure how long things are gonna- You know what? I really don't want to talk about this right now. Let's just focus on your assignment. Well, I'm starving. And I had the butler make us a special meal. Can we take a lunch break? Okay, cool. We all be. Gosh, that poor dog. I have to go check on it. Hey, it's okay, girl. I'm gonna open the door. Please don't bite me. <gasps> what did I just see? That didn't look like a dog, that looked Excuse like- Excuse me, miss. Ronald has prepared food for you. But he said that you prepared the meal. No, he insisted on making it himself. Goodbye. Wait, have you ever seen what's behind that door? I have seen many things. I warned you this job wouldn't be worth the money. Wait, where are you going? Oh, Tuta, where'd you go? There you are. Why are you packing up? I'm so sorry, Ronald, but I... I have to go. What? But your meal is already ready. I'm not really hungry anymore. My mommy already paid you for the session. Why are you leaving early? Did you go into the basement? I really need to go. Come on, open. Hello. You know, you really shouldn't have went down there. What is in the basement? Well, you see, you're not really my first tutor. The other ones, they just didn't listen. What is in there? My other tutors. And now you're gonna have to join them. Ugh, oh, my head. She woke up. Shh, you're gonna scare her. What the hell? Where am I? We're all locked in a basement. Wait a minute, are you Ronald's other tutors? Yeah. yeah. How long have you guys been down here? We've been down here for like a month. You have? Good, you're awake. So, how are you? Not great, you know, because you hit me in the back of the head with a frying pan. I'm sorry, I just wanted some friends. Ronald, this isn't the way though. You have to let us go. Darling, I'm home. Not a word. Stay quiet. Ronald! Coming, mummy. Ronald, there you are. Don't bother calling for help. She can't hear us. How does a 12-year-old get his hands on something like that? Well, they are billionaires. They probably buy him whatever he wants. Well, there has to be some way out of here. I wish, girl, we tried. Oh my gosh, he left my phone. Can either of you reach it? No, both of our hands are tied. Okay, well, I'm just gonna kick the table over. Ah. Oh my gosh. Okay, who are you calling? I'm using my foot to text my boyfriend. Your boyfriend? No, girl, call the cops. No, 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 girls, trust me, this is the right move. He can track my phone and have a team here in just a few minutes. Huh? huh? Is your boyfriend a spy or something? Uh-oh. What? What? My phone died. No. Girls, I'm sorry to do this, but I'll have to get rid of two of you. What? No, please. Ronald, no. Chill, I'm not gonna get rid of- Freeze, kid. What the- Got your text, babe. I had no idea my son was capable of doing such terrible things. Girls, please take this. These checks are for a million. I know. Are you sure? Yes. It's the least I can do. Thank you for saving us, sir. Absolutely. Glad you guys are safe. Girl, he's a real keeper. Yeah. 
excuse. I was meant to be your boyfriend, not him. Can someone please get Ronald McDonald out of here? How dare you? Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm gonna go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is gonna think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's gonna adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're gonna need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you- They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But- Hush, follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're sixteen, not six. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go. <gasps> no. Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger. Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just get here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now, and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today, and so many articles have been written. I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh, I'm not going to use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much. But I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you.
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that... Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you, too. Samantha, who is this boy on your phone you've been talking to? Mom, what the heck? You took my phone? Yes, I took your phone. I am your mother. I can do that. And you, you have been on that Xbox all day. Chill, I've only been on for 15 minutes. Ever since you divorced Dad and got that hairstyle, you turned into such a Karen. I am not a Karen, okay? And that was very rude. You two are grounded. Mom, we're going over to Dad's. It's his week. All right, fine. When you get back from your father's, you two are grounded. Gosh, getting older is just the worst. Now I have all these problems with the divorce and the kids and other... What I would give to be 16 again. Oh, I wish I was younger. I'm gonna go take a nap. <gasps> I look like my 16-year-old self. I've gotta call Susan. Oh my god, who are you using for your Botox person? This is amazing. No, Susan, this is not Botox. This is magic. Magic? Yes, I made a wish to be younger, and when I woke up, I looked like this. Well, in this situation, there's only one logical thing to do. Pretend to be a student at my kid's high school and spy on them. I was gonna say go to therapy, but that idea's better. See, this is why I like you, Susan. Okay, Susan, what are we thinking? First day back to school outfit. I even got oh, no. a little headband to match. No, you're trying to blend in with Gen Z, not our generation. Come on, Tits, we're going shopping. Are you sure this is what the kids are wearing these days? Yeah, my daughter wears this stuff all the time. Also, you're going to need some fake identification for the school records, but don't worry, I got you covered. You know how to do that. Yeah, I can make you a fake ID. Now, come on. So you'll pretend to be my mom, and then you'll drop me off like it's a normal school day. And then you're going to make your way into your kids' classrooms and spy on them. Exactly. You know what, Susan? This is going to be great. My kids are always nagging, saying how hard high school is, and I'm just going to be here to prove that it's not that bad. Maybe you'll even learn something. Susan, please. The only thing that I'm going to be learning is all the secrets that my kids will never tell me. So when they get back from their fathers, I'll have enough dirt to ground them for a whole month. Okay, Toots, we're at the high school. Now, come here, listen to me. You better not embarrass yourself. I'm serious. I'll be back to pick you up at three. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, please meet our new student, Christina. There's my son. Could I sit next to that boy over there? Does someone have a little crush? Oh, no, no, God, no. I just thought that he seemed really nice. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Sam, you're slouching a little bit, honey. <laughs> oh, I also like snacks. What? How the hell do you know my name? How do you know my name? It says it right there on your backpack. Oh. Did you say you brought me snacks? I was just kidding. Uh-huh. Sam, wait up. Where are you headed? Why do you care? I just thought that I could be your friend. No thanks. I don't have any friends here and I don't plan on making any either. Of course you have friends. I mean, yeah, but not here. I just play with them on Discord. So that's why you're always playing video games? What? Nothing. Well, I found my son Sam, but where's Samantha? Whoops, sorry. Here, take an invite to my party. I'm calling it Samantha Stevens Halloween Bash. I hope you can come. Oh, I'll be there. Sweet. Susan, I really don't know about this costume. It's a little bit scandalous. So it's, you got bigger problems. This party is going to be at your ex-husband's, and you met him in high school, so he's going to recognize you looking like this. What am I going to do? Gosh, I mean, you probably should wear a mask. Susan, I am not covering up this youthful face of mine. I will just have to take my chances. I cannot believe my ex-husband is letting Samantha throw a party. Hey, girly, you're early. What's your name again? I'm Christina. Well, thanks for coming. I'm Samantha. Hey, do you want to dance? No, I'm not really much of a... Come on. Woo! <laughs> Samantha, wow, you seem so happy. Well, when I'm at my dad's, I am. Hey. Oh, Christina, this is my boyfriend. Boyfriend? Yeah, this is Dean. Isn't he so cute? <laughs> oh, baby. Sure is. I'll go get you a drink, Dean. Be right back. So, you and Samantha, you're, you're a thing? Yeah, more like something casual, you know. I just gotta say, that dress looks really good on you. You look gorgeous. Shouldn't you be complimenting Samantha, since she's your girlfriend? 
Babe, I got your drink. Oh, baby, thank you. Yay, people are starting to arrive. I'll go get the door. Yeah, okay, I'll be right there. I am watching you, young man. Sam, hey, you're at this party too? What are you doing in this corner all by yourself? Shh, don't say my name. He'll hear you. Who's gonna hear me? Hey, Sammy boy. I've been looking for you. What are you hiding from me? What a wimp. What is your name? My name's Josh. Oh, I know you. You're Mrs. Johnson's kid. Yes, your mother has told me all about you. She said that he's been having a lot of trouble growing facial hair. She told you that? <laughs> Judging from that one hair on your face, you haven't fixed the problem. I'm a late bloomer, okay? I'm out of here. We sure showed him. Now, what do you say, Sam? You get out of this corner and go enjoy the party? You know what? You're right. I will. Samantha's busy right now. So what do you say, you and I? Oh. Dean, did you just try and kiss Christina? Baby, no, I- Get out of my house. You heard her get out. Actually, everyone can get out. Dad! Your party's over, Samantha. Wait, who's that? That's Christina. She's her friend. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry, you look exactly like my ex-wife when she was in high school. Really? Dad, speaking of mom, listen, I'm really sorry about the party, but please don't tell her about any of this. What? what? Why not? She'll get so mad at me. Honey, I'm sure she wouldn't. You don't understand. My mom is super strict. If she finds out that I had a party and a secret boyfriend, she might never let me see my dad again. Christina, I think my daughter needs to be alone. Of course. I'll, um, I'll let you guys talk. I need to help my kids. I wish to be back to my older self. Why isn't it working? Thank you for coming. I I don't know what to do. What happened? I tried to wish myself back, and it didn't work. Oh, Twitz. Listen, you gotta go back to your husband. You gotta convince him that it's you. But he won't believe me. Then tell him something that's gonna make him believe you. I gotta go. But Susan, wait. Where are you going? I got a job to do somewhere else. You got this. Walter, hi. Um, this is gonna sound crazy, but I'm actually Elizabeth. Your, your ex-wife. If this is some kind of joke... I'm being serious. I don't have time for this. No, 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 please wait. I can prove it to you. The day that we met, you were wearing a Dodgers cap, and I was wearing an Angels cap, and we got into this big silly argument about whose team was better. What? How do you know that? Because I lived it because it was me. Elizabeth, but how? I made a wish to be younger, and I realized that my whole life I put myself first. I only cared about me, and that was wrong. I just want to be better. Hey guys. Mom, you look different. Yeah, well, I realized that the darker makeup was making me look a lot older. Oh, and Samantha, these are for you. You deserve better than Dean. You know I had a boyfriend? Uh-oh. Guys, it's all right. I know about the party too, and I'm not mad. You're, You're not? not? No, you know, I've decided I don't want to be that mom that just grounds you guys all the time. Your mother has promised she's going to be different. I'm sorry, did we miss something? Just my friend Susan helped me realize some things. Susan? Elizabeth, you've never had a friend named Susan. She was an angel. Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa. She only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me a hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here. Would you like some food? Ah, yes. You smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry. I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look. She learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. See, today's the day we get to pick what type of parents we want to be adopted by. It looks like we can either do... Mafia bosses or archaeologists? What do those parents do? Uh, I think archaeologists study rocks or something, but I don't know what mafia bosses do. We should ask some of the other foster kids. Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. I picked to be adopted by a billionaire. Do you know what mafia boss means? We're trying to figure it out so we can pick one for our adoption. <laughs> <laughs> you two don't know what mafia means? No. no. Oh, well, let me tell you, they are so cool. Yeah, you should totally pick that option.
Really? Yeah, I've heard they're like really nice people. But what about the archaeologists? Ew, boring. Pick, pick the, the mafia. mafia. Pick, pick the, the mafia. mafia. Okay, okay. Your new parents are here, girls. <gasps> Hello, we are Mr. and Mrs. Stefano. We'll take the little one. What? Come here, child. <gasps> Sissy, now wait a minute. You can't separate them. They're sisters. Heard the adoption lady. You can't separate us. We're sisters. We only wanted one kid. I won't stop crying if you don't adopt my sister, too. She's not lying. She won't. All right. We will adopt both of them. Yay. Okay, let's go. You two. You're never allowed in this room. Got it? Yes. Uh-huh. He can be harsh, but he is actually a bit softy. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to your real parents? Shh. It's okay. Mom and Dad will be back to pick us up soon. Sweetheart, your parents' plane, it crashed. They didn't make it. No, no. Oh, that is horrible. Yeah. Why don't you two go check out your new room? Okay. okay. I'm glad we get to stay together. Me too, Maisie. Good night. Cool. Mr. Stefano, I've been hearing some loud noises coming. Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. Sissy, you, you haven't talked all morning. Are you okay? Please, please, tell your dad to let me off the hook. Get away from her. We have to get out of here, Maisie. Huh? But we just got adopted. Maisie, come with me, darling. I have ice cream. <gasps> Ice cream! Your sister will be fine, but your father wants to speak to you now. Go on. He's in his office. There she is. Please, take a seat. I think I'll stand, thanks. Why is there a gun on the table? Well, I was gonna teach you how to use it. No need. You're brave. I like it. You tell me why you killed that man last night right now, because I was under the impression that mafia bosses were supposed to be nice. Nice? <laughs> Whoever told you that must not have liked you very much. You see, my wife and I's job is very secret, so because of that we gotta be oh, tough. But I'm always gonna have a soft spot for my girls. We are not your girls. My sister and I are leaving this place and we are never coming back. Oh boy. Listen, kid, I'm really sorry you had to see that last night, but I promise I'm no. gonna- No. Goodbye, Mr. Stefano. We will get adopted by someone else. Not so fast. Don't you want to know the truth about your real parents? What? What if I told you the plane crash they died in was all a hoax? Hey, make a wish! How many years did it give you? Ten! She has to get married at seventeen? She won't even be an adult! Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your seventeenth birthday is in one week and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's laugh will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No! My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were going to help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? 
I'm telling you, Father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my days left turn back to red, and remember Mother said- Your mother is gone, and I will not lose you too over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing lock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. Guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you- I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh! Make your wish! I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look! Oh my gosh, I do! Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's alright now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if, if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> A mermaid! What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying! No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid, we know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not. It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Morlina. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. 
Our future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? You were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <gasps> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Two million dollars or a pencil. Who in their right mind would ever pick- Tag your hit! Pencil selected. Sorry. You're done. You're done. I could have been rich, I could have been buying myself a new Tesla right now, but instead I'm stuck with this freaking mechanical pencil. Today I want you all to write about something you wish would happen to you. Might as well put this to some use. I wish that I was famous and everyone wanted my autograph. I'm all done, Mr. Peters. Bree, is it? Is it really you? Um, yeah, it's really me. Ah, guys, she's over here! So I'm pretty sure this thing is magic, and I just made all of you guys think that I'm famous. Can I please get your autograph? No, I was here first! Okay, time to fix this. <laughs> Can I have that paper back? I'm just gonna erase everything. Whoa, it actually worked. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Can I please borrow your pencil? So, can I borrow it? You know what? It's actually broken. I just saw you using it. Well, my answer is no. Whatever. This is why no one likes you. Ugh. Let's see how popular she is after this. Jessica trips in front of her crush. Hey, Joshua! <laughs> Dude, she just tripped on air. <sighs> I'm so thirsty. Wait, what if I just... A water bottle appeared in my hand. No way! So basically, I can have whatever I want. I just have to write it down. I don't feel like walking home today, so what if... Tom Holland picked me up from school today? Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tom Holland. Bye! I better put this in my pocket. Oh my gosh, Mom, I think my pocket had a hole in it. Please tell me you saw my pencil. 
I think your sister got it, honey. She's upstairs drawing with it. What? Lily, do you have my pencil? Yeah, but I'm just borrowing it so I can write you a birthday card. Give it back. Wait, I'm drawing you as a princess with a really cute pink rose in your hand. See? <gasps> That's just how I imagined it. Lily, listen, I'm gonna need that back now. Is this pencil magic? Of course not. Hmm, let me see about that. Lily, don't you... My sister couldn't speak. No way, this is so cool. Okay, she can speak again. Lily, that pencil isn't a toy. You never share anything with me. I'm telling mom. Why are you being mean to Lily? I am not being mean to her. She literally stole my birthday gift. You wouldn't have even gotten the pencil if it wasn't for me. Oh yeah? Well, watch what I'm gonna do now, smart mouth. Wait, what are you writing? My sister disappeared. What? No! Lily? Where did she just go? Is that pencil magic? No. Make her reappear. Do I have to? She is your sister. You bring her back right now, or you're grounded. Or I could just make you forget this ever happened. That is it. <gasps> hey, this thing's power has gone to your head. I'm taking it away from you. No, Mom, please. I'll bring her back. I'll do it myself. Lily reappeared. Don't talk to me ever again. Pencil's magic expires in one hour. One hour? But I haven't even done anything fun yet. That's it. I have to steal that pencil back. She really needs to stop hiding stuff in her makeup bag. <laughs> hey. Go away. Lily, look, I'm sorry I made you disappear. Where did you even go when it happened? Yeah, like you care. Listen, this pencil is about to run out of magic. So what do you say you and I make a list of things that we want? And I'll write down whatever you say. You do that? Can I write down stuff too? All right, fine, but we gotta hurry, because we only have like five minutes left. We only have four minutes left. Write down the pencil never runs out of magic. Oh yeah, good idea. Air, that is not allowed. Oh, come on. Hurry up and write stuff down then. Okay, okay. Ten seconds left. Let me write the last thing. Write fast. I'm done. Pencil deactivated. I think we did pretty well with the time that we had left. I mean... I'm now a multi-millionaire, I can get free Chick-fil-A whenever I want, and I got this little guy. Do you think mom's gonna get mad at us for all this stuff? No, I think the last thing I wrote is gonna distract her a lot. Oh yeah, what did you wish for? Let me guess, a lifetime supply of candy? Uh, no, that wasn't what I wrote down exactly. Do you want to tell me why I woke up from my nap and had a baby bump all of a sudden? Lily, you didn't. What? I just really wanted a little baby brother, that's all. Well, it looks like you're gonna get your wish, because this is just a regular pencil now. And the baby is due tomorrow. What? There will come a soldier who carries a mighty sword. He will tear your city down. Olé, olé, oh lord. Olé, 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 oh lord. He will tear your city down. I do love cats, but I am allergic, and I think the billionaires are going to pay more. Thank you for coming. How does 5,000 an hour sound? 5,000? Mm-hmm. Is that too low for you? No, no. That's plenty. Excellent. Okay, let me see. Let me just go get the kids. This is Tabitha and Thomas. Now let's go over the rules. Okay. And lastly, bedtime is at 8. Question, when you say the kids aren't allowed outside, how do they go to school? Tabitha is home school. Oh, okay. And of course, our son is just a baby. Time for us to go. Yes, go to your partner. Your kids are in great... Yeah. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One, One fell off and bonked his, his head. Oh, it's already eight o'clock. It's time for bed. Oh, say a walk? Yes. Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. They're oh, just dreams, sweetheart. You sleep well, okay? Good night. Good night, Sawa. I can't believe I'm working for billionaires. Is that blood? And it just dripped on me from the attic. You saw blood? Yeah, and I'm just a bit concerned because... <laughs> 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 blood in the attic. I don't really see how this is funny. 
The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. We stole them in the attic. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I may have overreacted a bit. Oh, you poor thing. You were probably terrified. Here's a $100 gift card for your troubles. Well, thank you, but are you sure you don't want my help cleaning up all that mess? No, thank you, but can you watch the kids next Saturday? Yes, of course. Excellent. See you then. Bye-bye now. Please make sure Tabitha does not go in the guest bedroom. We're renovating it and it's not safe for children. Yes, of course. Understood. <gasps> Sarah! Tabitha, hi! Are you ready to play some games? Uh, yeah, I miss you. Come on, follow me. I want to play in here. No, no, Tabitha, you're not supposed to go in there. Tabitha, I really don't appreciate you not listening. I saw you. I thought your parents said they were renovating this room. What does renovating mean? It means, like, to fix it up and make it pretty. It's already pretty. Is that blood on the countertop? Huh? You know what, I'm sorry. It's probably just from your Halloween decorations. Mommy and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? Me and Daddy, they, they don't decorate for Halloween. What? The blood must have been from our Halloween decorations. And that means this blood must be real. If that blood was real, then I'm lucky to have made it home alive. But whose blood would it have been? Sometimes I dream that I have a different mommy and daddy and I get scared. What if Mr. and Mrs. Parker killed Tabitha and Thomas's real parents and that was their blood in the attic? It's them. Hello? We need you, ASAP. Thank you for agreeing to come. See you. See you. If something really is going on there, I'm gonna have to prove it. So when Mr. and Mrs. Parker leave, I'm gonna investigate the attic myself. Hopefully this is tall enough to reach the attic. Sayla, what are you doing? Tabitha, I told you to go watch Coco Melon. No, I want to be with you. What's that? It's an Amber Alert for a missing baby, and it's a picture of your baby brother. I think these kids were kidnapped. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. What's going on? There's no time to explain, sweetheart. We have to go. I'm scared. Shh, it's gonna be okay. They're home. Sarah, please don't hide. We know you saw the Amber Alert, but we can explain. Tabitha? She's calling me. She's trying to trick you. I told you. She's not your real mom. I think they're gone. Are you gonna call the police? My phone died. Shh, Thomas, stop crying. Found you. Don't be scared just because the kids are stolen. It doesn't mean we don't love them. No, you leave the children alone. Yeah, Tabitha. <sighs> what a shame. You're just like our last babysitter. What did you do to her? The blood in the eye. That was hers. And now you're... Oh, oh. Surprise. I'm still alive. Susie. I'm okay. Just call the police. Go get help. Come on, Tabitha. Let's go. Thank you for finding my daughter. And thank you for finding my son. You should really thank the other babysitter. She... She was the real hero. It was both of you. You both are responsible for reuniting two children back with their families. I'm glad everyone's okay. Me too. Tabitha wanted to know if you would still... Yeah, sure. Oh. TikTok sounds or randomly speak in Spanish. My grandparents already do this one all the time, so. Jump scare! <laughs> Ow, Lucy, why would you do that? I don't know, and my options were better than yours. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what have you done to me? You should really be more careful what option you pick. <laughs> Sex to be you. That's it, come here. Mom! 
I can't make it to your party. I have to go to Liz's instead. Oh, yeah, totally. We can just plan something another time. Thanks for understanding, girly. Doesn't seem to matter what I do. I'm always number two. What am I doing? Keep backing it up. Yeah, keep going. That's my car you're towing. Well, you're getting a big ticket for parking here. A ticket? Where's my dad? I'm all alone. I'm too small to be here on my own. What the? Miss, are you intoxicated? Please be more than 50 this time. 100! Oh, no, sweetheart, that says 10. What are we gonna do? I don't know, every day she barely gets any brain cells. Hey, don't eat that. I won't have a delinquent for a daughter. Hey, your squishy panda isn't food. You know what? I know what we need to do. You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Yes, but they haven't been tested much. I'm a walwis. Give me those. We're trying them. Open wide, sweetheart. Now chew. Oh my gosh, it's working. Let's test her brain cells. Spell onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. O-N-O-M-A-T-O-P-O-E-I-A. Yes, she's smart now. We'll give her the candy every day. <gasps> she actually got a decent amount of brain cells. Guess she doesn't need the candy today. But she's been taking it every day for years. Let me see the candy. She'll be fine. Yeah, there shouldn't be any side effects. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Now, my opponent has pointed out some of the positives of AI, but I would like to point out some of the negatives. Which are, um... Sorry, I can't remember what I was gonna say. Yo, she okay? What the heck is going? Maybe she got stage fright. You guys, look! She's losing brain cells! Dude, that's not supposed to happen. Hey, girly, are you okay? Maybe we should get you some help. Zaposa. Oh, no. Bro, she's, like, super dumb now. Today was her big debate. I have to tell her parents. Huh? Come on, you're coming with me. So there was side effects to that smart candy. I guess so. She keeps losing brain cells. I don't know if the candy's gonna work anymore. She's gonna be brain dead without it. Let's just try. Sweetie, open up. Mm -mm. Open up or I'll do it for you. Come on. Good girl. It's kind of working. No, she needs more candy. It's supposed to be one a day. She needs more brain cells. Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. She, she has, has infinite, infinite brain, brain cells. cells. Yes, unfortunately, my intelligence level has now surpassed your small, feeble minds. Honey, she's scaring me. We should take her to get checked out. I think I gave her too much. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why not? Because my mind is telling me that if you do that, that will be the end of both of you. What? what? Oh, honey. You're up early. Good morning, mother. Good morning, father. We see you still have infinite brain cells. <laughs> when is this smart candy going to wear off? My mind is telling me that the effects from this candy won't be wearing off until around two weeks from now. No, honey, we really need to take you to get checked. I already told you that that is a bad idea. You're not the boss. You may think you know everything, but you don't. I know what you were doing on Instagram last night. Huh? What is she talking about, honey? Uh... Nothing. It's just, um... Does the name Sandy Smith ring a bell? How do you know? <gasps> Your ex from high school? Are you still liking her posts? Just two of them. What? So, what I can gather from Dad's body language is that he does love you more than Sandy, but if he doesn't block her within the next two hours, it will lead to a divorce for both of you. Darren? I'm doing it. Uh, she's blocked. <laughs> My sources say that, uh, you made the right call. I want her to go back to normal. Same, but as long as she's like this, we might as well make some money off of her. So, how does a game show sound? I would win all the money. Really? really? But I don't wish to do that at this time. Say what? Why not? <sighs> Reasons you can't understand. <laughs> because you're stupid. That's it. We have to turn her back to normal. Yeah, and I think I'm going to Surprise! We got you something. Gummy bears. They're your favorite, right? So go on, have a bite. Did you know that the gummy bear was invented in 1922 in Germany? Wow, thanks for the interesting fact. Now try it. You two are trying to poison me. What? We would never. Well, then you eat it first. Oh, she got me right in the eye. <gasps> oh, honey. That's it. Grab her arms. What? Grab her. No. Sweetie, just hold still. Uh -oh. Ow! Just eat the gummy and this will all be over. Yes, there you go. I thought these gummies were supposed to turn her back to normal. They were. She's brain dead. No, honey, please wake up. Oh, no. What the? Oh, my gosh, it worked. What just happened? 
Oh, uh, I feel really weird. Honey, we're so glad you're back to normal. Back to normal? You're telling me there's a special smart candy that can boost her brain cells? Here, have some more. And a little bit more. Honey, this is a bad idea. I remember what you guys did to me. We're so sorry. It won't happen again. Maybe you two should eat some of those smart candies so you could figure out how to do proper parenting. Oh, that's, that's not, not a bad, bad idea. idea. Wait, give me those. You two are banned from these. But... More bloopers from my chaotic filming. I be struggling. So just go to the science lab, get like a little container and, you know, pucker your... <laughs> They're a thick clip-on, see? Oh my god, what is that? We just cover it off. What is that? I'm a POV actor. Wait, I forgot what I was gonna say. You had watch up. I'm a POV actor. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a POV actor. Do you think I have Riz? Sorry. You fold? Yeah. Okay, one more time, go ahead. Fold. Cool. There you go. Perfect. You fold? Oh, the gum! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Where the heck is it? Where's the gum? I'm the tooth fairy, sweetheart. You went tooth. The tooth fairy? Truth. I said truth. You sounded like you said truth. Oh my god, this guy's gonna be insane. Okay. I can get adopted by a teacher or a mafia boss? What is that? I'm gonna go ask some of the other kids. Hey guys, do any of you know what a mafia boss is? How innocent. Mafia bosses are super rich and they make for great parents. It's true, they're super nice. Really? Yeah, if that's one of your options, you should pick it. Okay. <laughs> Someone is here to adopt you. Hey kid. Natalie, say hi. Hi. This is Mr. Russo, he's going to take great care of you. Come on, Natalie. Let's take you to your new home. I got you a little something. Thank you. Of course. So is it true that you make a lot of money? Excuse me? I don't like to talk about my job. I'm sorry. I was just asking. No questions about my work. Put these on and go to your room for 30 minutes. But why? Hey, boss. He's ready for you. Natalie, go now. Okay. You're late again on your payment. This will be the last time, I swear. Yeah, it will be. Bye, Mr. Russo. Wait, before you go to school, I want you to uh, stay away from any cops you see, okay? Okay. Hi, hon. I'm Officer Blair. I really should be going. We just want to talk to you about your father. He a mafia boss? No. Uh-huh. Don't lie to us. Hey! Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. Your new father is in a lot of trouble. And you're gonna help us catch him. You'll use this. A pen? It has a video camera in it, and you're gonna be recording him all the time. Got it? No, I won't betray my new dad. You don't help us, and you'll be going to juvie, young lady. So we suggest you comply. Maybe those kids lied to me. I mean, if I'm gonna betray him, I have to know what he's really doing for a living. Hey, Mr. Russo, I know you said to never ask about your work, but if I'm gonna be living here with you as your daughter, you have to be honest with me. <sighs> you sure you wanna know? I'm sure. Well, I make money by doing things that aren't exactly legal. Oh. May I ask why you adopted me? This job can get pretty lonely, and I always wanted a daughter, but maybe that was selfish. No, no, that wasn't selfish. It was actually kind of sweet. Since you were honest with me, I'm gonna be honest with you. Some cops did approach me today, and they wanted me to record you and gather evidence on you using this pen. What? Give me that! I told you no cops. I know, I'm sorry. It's just they were very insistent, and one of the guys was grabbing onto my arm, and he was really scaring me. They said if I didn't gather evidence on you and record you, that I would go to juvie. They want a video, huh? Let's give them one. Did you get what we wanted? Yes, I did. All the evidence you need against my father is in this pen. You should listen to it now. Ow! Oh, oh what the- Oh no, the pen must have malfunctioned. You two think you're funny? Do you want to go to juvie because- Wait a minute, your badges look really fake. Are they plastic? Time for plan B. Get her. Time for plan B. Get her. You just had to notice our badges. Now we're gonna have to do something we didn't want to do. You see, we're enemies of your father. Because you didn't listen to us, we're gonna have to use you as bait to catch him. No, he won't fall for that. Yeah, he will. And then he'll be killed. No, I'll warn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna tell him anything. Ow! Lock her in the room and give her something to calm down. No! Hey, kid. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. No, please. You have to leave me here. Shh. It's gonna be alright. 
Let's go this way. No. We knew you'd come. Remember us? You're the ones who wanted more money for the job. You ripped us off. Now you and your little brat are gonna pay. You should know better. You think I'd come here alone? Ugh. <laughs> Let's go. Mr. Russo, I'm really scared. It's okay. I know, kid. That's why I brought these for you. Put them on and close your eyes. Stop him! I told you. You mess with me and you end up on the floor. Are we safe now? Yeah, don't you worry. They won't be able to bother you again. Come here, sweetheart. Are you sure you want to return her back to the adoption center? After some thought, yeah. I think it's what's best for her. You deserve a different father. But I don't want a different father. I want you. Time to go, Natalie. I'll never forget you, Mr. Russo, and I'll never forget how you saved my life. Aw, the Mafia boss returned her. Just leave me alone. I bet nobody will adopt her now. Natalie, someone's here to see you. Hey, kid. Mr. Russo? I thought about what you said about not wanting another father. And the truth is, ever since you've been gone, I miss you. Would you still want me to be your... Yes. I promise, I'm always gonna protect you. Wanna play mother, may I, for a chance to win 50 million? I always wanted a mother, and I can use the money to buy myself my own house one day. Hello. Hi. Are you really my mother now? Yes, I am your mother. You listen to me. Okay. Mother, may I have this cookie? No, you may not. But- Do not argue with me. It is past your bedtime. Mother, may you sing me a bedtime song? I'm tired, but I can't sleep. No. <laughs> Hush, little baby. Don't say a word. Mother's going to buy you a mockingbird. Thank you, Mother. You're the best mother I ever had. Hey, Mother, I was just thinking, may I know what happens if I don't listen to you? No, you may not. Well, Mother, may I go to school? Yes, you may. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Hey! Sorry. You made me spill my iced coffee. Mother, may I hit her again? No. You didn't ask me permission the first time. Mother, may I go see a friend? Yes, you may. Hey, what's wrong? Remember the bully I had since elementary school? Yeah. She was eliminated from the game today. And I'm pretty sure that Mother wants me to win this game. You think Mother wants you to win the 50 million? Yes. Look, I get you were a foster kid and Mother is the closest thing you've had to a real mom. But she's AI. She doesn't have feelings. No, listen to me. I'm telling you, I am pretty sure that I am her favorite. Okay, let's test this then. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? No, no. Mother, may I go to Sarah's party? Yes, you may. What? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Mess around and find out. I have to shut down mother. I have to shut down mother. Mother, may I please have some water? No. You haven't let me drink water for three days. Mother, may I please give her some of my water? No, you may not. I can't take this anymore. Give me the water. Please, if you just hold on a little bit longer, I'm gonna save you. Mother, may I ask you a question? Yes. How many players are left in this game? There are three players left. Mother, may I go to sleep? Of course, but wait, I'm always watching. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. Good night. It's time for me to end this game once and for all. Stop. You didn't ask me permission to come here. I'm sorry, Mother. I can't let this game go on anymore. Don't. If you unplug that, I will have you eliminated. No, you won't, because I know you care about me. If you were gonna kill me, you would have done it already. I have to do this. Wait. I can show you. Your real mother. I'm sorry. I have to shut you off. Wait. I can show you your real mother. You can? Yes, she's closer than you think. Your real mother is- Shut her off! Mother powering you down. Finally, the game's over. Jocelyn? Forget mother, I'm going. Jocelyn, wait, don't go. She's not gonna do anything. Surprise, I survived. I'm glad you're okay, but she was right about to tell me who my real mother was. I'm sorry, but she had to be shut down. Do you feel like this was a little too easy? 
Wouldn't you think there would be security? Yeah, that is odd. Forget about it. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also your real mother. No. All that matters is that this crazy game is over. Hey, I'm going home. Be safe, okay? Hello, it's you. You're beautiful. Why do you sound so familiar? It's me, Mother. Don't be scared, sweetheart. I'm just the voice of Mother. But I'm also your real mother. No. I'm so sorry. I had to put you up for adoption so I could run this game. But now it's over. You hurt so many people. I never meant for this game to get so brutal. I started out by doing this as a science experiment. But it made me lose sight of the things that really matter. Even as mother, I was watching over you. I wanted you to win that 50 million. But don't worry, because I'm going to make a new game. What? Yes, and I was thinking, instead of Mother May I, we could all play Red Light, Green Light. And since you're my daughter, you'll have to play. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> a mermaid! What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying! No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not! It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right. She is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay. We got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? 
Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years, I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future. It changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <laughs> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Max, look, we can get adopted by a scientist or a billionaire. We both like science, so maybe we should do scientists? No way. That's too risky. What if they find out about our powers? They could try to study us for research. What if they don't want both of us? Of course they're gonna adopt both of us. We're twins. They have to. Okay, I guess we're picking billionaire. Oh look, it's the freaks. <laughs> hey, give that back to her. Max, don't do anything dumb. I'm not letting her steal that from you. Hey Molly, you gonna cry? <gasps> what the? Uh. That just floated out of my hands. Freaks. Was that really worth it? Yeah, that's the only thing we have from our parents. Come on. Molly, Max, are you ready to meet your new father? Yes. Yeah. Here he is. Hello, children. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you, you have? have? Yes. Now, come along. My mansion awaits you two. Oh, bye guys. Let's go. This is both of your rooms. Why do the doors have locks? It's just for your safety. Max, he's lying. Just give him a chance. Good morning, children. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Uh, yeah. Good. Come here. I have a surprise for you. Surprise? Whoa, is that a gaming system? Look at all these video games. I've never seen so many Squishmallows in my life. They're all yours. Hungry for Starbucks? You have a Starbucks in your house? That is so cool. Would you two like some Frappuccinos? Yes, yes please. please. Children, I have to go to a meeting. Please stay in this room until I get back. Hey, Molly, aren't you glad you gave him a chance? <laughs> what are you doing? We're not supposed to use our powers. Someone could see us. Chill out. No one's around. Come play with us, Molly. <laughs> Come on, I know you want to use your powers. <laughs> your koala better square up. <laughs> Stop. What? What happened? I don't know. I just feel like something's wrong. Up there. Oh no. A camera. That means he's been watching us this whole time and he knows about our powers. Let's get out of here. I think I know how we can escape. I see you found the camera. You two aren't going anywhere. I know you both have powers. And I'm not letting you two leave this place ever. What do you want from us? I want you to help me take over the world. You're crazy. Maybe, but now you're stuck with me. Take them to the experiment room. No! It's gonna be okay. Give me that. You give her that back or else... You try anything and he'll attack you. Hey, you can talk to animals, right? I haven't done it in a really long time. He's gonna be back any minute, just try. Please calm down. We need your help. We don't mean you any harm. Good boy, now go do what I told you. He's gonna help us escape. Yes, I knew that would work. Whoa, boy, what are you doing? Hey, get off of me! Run! Wait, I almost forgot. Molly, come on! Watch out, another bodyguard is coming! Oh. Let's go! Hello? Did your penguin just talk? Molly, Max, is that you? Yes, it's us. Who is this? It's me, your mom. And me, your dad. What? It's 
a long story, but all of us aren't from this planet. Molly, let me see that. We believe we're close by. You. Follow your instincts and find us. I think it's really them. Let's go meet them. You are not meeting anyone. You two belong to me. No, we don't. Molly, now. <sighs> hey, put me down. Okay. Whatever, Whatever you, you say. say. <laughs> Time to go find our real parents. No way. This has got to be it. This is the ship. I kind of remember it now. I think I see mom and dad. Come on. Uh, this is a disaster. I have to film for my spy series and I have no idea what to wear. Oh no, one of my studio lights just fell over and broke. Uh, my lighting is going to look terrible now. Bree, come on, it's almost time to film. Coming. Uh, I gotta think of something and quick. Wait, I have an idea. Ooh, I really love these outfit ideas for my spy character, Maya. Let's see, I think this outfit would be perfect for her. Yes, I knew this app would help. These tips should help with my lighting issue. This is perfect. I'll use this as a guide to help style the outfit. I'm gonna need these, this. Ooh, and these shoes match the photo pretty well. Okay, I think I found all the items. Time to see what it looks like on. I'm ready to record. Well, love the fit, Brie, and you put it together so fast. What's your secret? Thanks, I actually use the Lemonade app. Huh? Lemonade? <laughs> no, Lemon 8. Oh, Lemon and number 8. I'm gonna download it right now. Yeah, it's actually surprisingly very helpful for all sorts of different tips and tricks. Sweet, love it. Oh, and by the way, you can actually follow me on there if you want. I can. Look. Okay, girl, you just got a new follower. Mom, look, I could get a teddy bear or a paintbrush. I think I'm gonna go with teddy bear. <gasps> no, pick the paintbrush. But I said pick it. Okay. My paintbrush came in. Oh, thank goodness. There, that's for you. Now paint money. Money? Why money? Honey, just paint it. Okay. Okay, I'm done, but I don't understand why- Shh. Look! Your paintbrush is magic. No way. So you're telling me that everything I paint will come to life? Yes, the paintbrush only works for you. Well, I want to paint a puppy. Honey, no, don't be selfish. You need to think of others before yourself, and there's lots of things that I need. Okay, here's your gold crown. Oh, it's perfect. Mom, can you please make me some food? All this painting is making me really hungry. Why, of course. But don't draw anything while I'm cooking. I'm gonna paint something she would never let me have. My own boyfriend. Honey, dinners. Let me see that. What did you paint? Nothing. I was just scribbling. Really? Then let me see it. No, wait. What is this? This is going in the garbage. Please, he wasn't done yet. He? Were you trying to draw a boyfriend? No. Give me that. No, this is my magic paintbrush. You can't just- Don't tell me what I can't do. I'm confiscating all of your paint stuff until tomorrow. Sorry, Mom, but I'm finishing this. The last thing I need is his eye color. I think this blue will look nice. He's done. Did you learn your lesson? Yeah, I did. Good. Here's your painting supplies back. Today, there is a lot I need you to paint for me. I finished your purple hair clips. Thank you, honey. Can I be done now? Hmm. I know you're not that tired. Well, it has been two hours, so okay, you rest. Mom, five more minutes. I'm not your mom. I'm your boyfriend. I'm your boyfriend. You look exactly like how I pictured you. Down to the hair color and everything. I can't believe this. I didn't even do the best job painting you, but you seem to have come out. Who is this? That's the delivery man. Delivery man? I didn't order anything. Excuse me, I'm her boyfriend. What? You disobeyed me. Mom, I have been painting so much stuff for you and all I ask for is just one boyfriend, please. Do you have my hair clips? Yeah, they're right here. What are you doing? Testing a theory. If I rip his painting, he disappears. Look, I found it. Stop. <sighs> Mom, let go, please. You're hurting him. Oh, that's the point. No. It's okay. Hey, catch. Don't give that to her. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Getting you out of my life. You can't do that. Where did she go? I, uh, painted her on a tropical island, but don't worry. I'll make sure she's well taken care of. Happy birthday! We got you something! I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 toy pencils. pencils! Really? Honey, they're magic pencils! Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? 
Are you nervous? W what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco, giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. I just a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I get you baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. See, he's- Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is- What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm gonna go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Wanna come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred... Five? Honey! Quiet. I just want to know one thing. Why is our rich score so low? Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? But daddy, you're a billionaire. He made a bad investment. I'm sorry, honey. <sighs> well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let anyone know about this. Hi, girly. Oh, hi, girls. Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. <laughs> is that a Ross tag? This? I just put that on there so people wouldn't steal it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I, I don't want to make other people jealous. Please let us see your score. No, you're being sus. My daddy's in charge of these scores and I'm going to have him make yours public. Mommy, daddy, we have a huge problem. What? What? Well, you remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? Mm -hmm. Well, her daddy is in charge of these richness score scales and... She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public. Oh boy. What are we going to do? 5% is like peasant material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I know this is hard. Why are my Gucci shoes in a for sale box? If we sell them, our percentage could go up. Okay, 
Do what you must, because my social status is on the line. Good news, someone bought them on eBay. It only went up 2%? That wasn't worth it. I want my Gucci shoes back. Why did you have to go bankrupt, Daddy? Now tomorrow, I'm gonna be publicly humiliated. I can't stand to see her like this. The truth is, Daddy didn't actually go bankrupt. You two lied to me? Yes, because we didn't want you to worry. About what? Recently, some bad men threatened to take you away from us if we didn't pay them billions. And you listened to them? I had to. Daddy, I would think you would know better. This isn't a joke, Pumpkin. I know these men. They would really come for you. Enough. Have they received the money? The transfer is still pending, but this is why our score is so low. Cancel that transfer. If I do that, they're going to get really upset. Cancel it right now, Daddy, or... Or I'm gonna scream. Okay, all right, it's canceled. We have a hundred percent? I can't wait to show the girls. It's not safe for you to be out in public right now. Daddy, I will be fine. Just hire me some bodyguards. Your score is going public in three, two... <gasps> what? You have a hundred percent? Aw, and it looks like you both are only in the 90s. <sighs> Miss, we need to get you out of here. We have a code red. Who's that man behind you? Brooke, run! <sighs> Todd! How dare you! He was my favorite bodyguard. Are you Brooke Evans? Um, no. Take a... Uh, let me go, you jerks! Read this. Uh, I am not reading that. Yes, you will. Hi, Daddy. This is Brookie. Unfortunately, I have been kidnapped, and... I'm sorry, can we cut? The lighting is just so bad. Just read the script. Okay, jeez. Hi, Daddy. They are saying that they want 1.2... I can't read that. Ugh. What? I don't have my contacts. All right, that's enough. Ow. Send us the money, or you're not going to see her again. You better not have ripped out my hair. Be quiet, or we're going to get the duct tape. I'm hungry. Can you guys get me some Starbucks or something? Who do you think we are, Uber Eats? Back to being a peasant. Okay, guys, they transferred the money. Now let me go. Change of plans. <laughs> We're bringing you to a new location. But that wasn't the deal. Someone else gave us a better offer for you. Hey, Brooke. Todd, you're... Shh, quiet. You're asleep. Huh? Hey, what do you think you're doing? Get back. You don't want to mess with me. I'm an ex-Navy SEAL. What's that supposed to mean, huh? It means he's going to kick your ass. I'd like to see him trouble. Yes, Todd, get them. <laughs> And this is why Todd is my favorite bodyguard. Here she is, Mr. Evans. Honey, are you okay? Oh, it was awful. They wouldn't buy me Starbucks, and they made me record videos in horrible lighting. But we're rich again, so everything's fine. No, sweetheart. We realize you need some discipline. Yep. You should have listened to us. Ugh, you guys are annoying me. Talk like that again, and you're going to boarding school. No, I'm sorry. You're going to treat us with respect. All right, I will. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm glad you're safe. Thanks, Todd. No, I needed a lot today. Aw, you poor thing. It's not fair. How come you guys always get so many more words than I do? Um, how are we supposed to know that? I don't know. Hey, Ella, don't forget I got a lot of chores for you to do after school. Oh, thank you, Ella. You better not be late this time. Mom, look, she already used up all her words. What do you expect? She's a blabbermouth. Here, that's for you. Chelsea, you're not supposed to give words. Shh, you're gonna waste them. They're for your big audition for the school play today. Come on, you've been waiting for this. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. Of course. Now go show them what you got. I can be who you want me to be. Okay, that's enough. Thank you. We don't need to hear any more. You got the part. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, you're exactly what we're looking for. There you are. Mom's been trying to call... How did you get more words? I... Oh, I'm so telling Mom. Come here. I found her, Mom. Let go. Mom! What? What do you want? I found Ella, and she got more words. What are you talking about? She doesn't have any words. She got more, I swear. What are you smiling about? Get to your chores. Mom, you have to believe me. Someone gave her words. No, I know, honey. I heard her talking. That's why I'm gonna have you spy on her tomorrow at school. Oh, and this way she won't suspect anything. Exactly. Something's going on with her. And I'm gonna find out what it is. Yes, I haven't gotten this many words since my dad passed away. I'm pleased to announce we have finally casted our prince for the play. Hi. 
I'm Adam. Save your words, Adam. We're going to be rehearsing the first part of the song right now. That was great. One moment. We need to fix the mics. Hey, did they cast the captain of the football team as the prince? Oh, you must have used up all your words in the play rehearsal. Here, I need the team. Come on, what happened? Okay, so basically he was looking at me the whole time and like, I won't go breaking. Nice voice. Fiona, you weren't supposed to be home until- Until later? I got off early today. How do you have so many words, hon? I just got a lot of words today. Or did someone give you a lot of words? Like your friend Chelsea, so you could spill the tea to her about the play. How did you know that I... I think that's enough talking from her today, don't you? <laughs> yes, Mom. I think it's time she learns the truth. Sit down and look up. Surprise! I've been controlling your words. I really thought she was going to catch on, but she never did. All of this time, you've been taking my words? How could you do that, you... Eh, eh, that's enough. You always got so many more words than I did, and it just wasn't fair. You outshined my daughter with your words, so I took that away. And now you're trying to outshine her by being the lead in a play? Well, that's not gonna happen. So, if you ever want to talk again, you're gonna do as we say. Hey, you. Aw, you're all the words again. Here, take some. What's wrong? I can't be friends with you anymore, and if you give me words again, I'm going to report you. What? Ella, how could you say that? Wait! You ready, honey? Oh, I'm ready. Your stepsister's pretending to have your voice, so you better make it good. I won't go breaking your heart. Wow, you sound just like Ella. If anything happens to her, you will go up on stage for the play. Oh my gosh, okay. Thank you, sounds good. I'm so proud of you, honey. Thanks. What? I need to use the restroom. Hurry up, I want to go home. You have five minutes. There, go. Ella, there you are. I wanted to check on you. You didn't seem like yourself today. You, you need help? You don't have any words. Ella, what are you doing? Come here. Get in the car. Wait. She seemed a little distressed today. Oh, I think she's coming down with a cold. But our play is tomorrow. Don't worry. If she's sick, her stepsister will perform for her. Now let's go. Okay, here's some words. Now, Lacey, you practice lip sync in the Ella's voice. Ella, start singing. No. What did you what say? Did you say? I'm not going to let her get credit for my singing voice. I'm going to take away all your words again. Okay. Do it. You little brat! I don't need you. Don't go breaking my heart. See, I can sing myself. Yeah, good luck with that. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to talk to Adam. Hold it. You're not talking to anybody. You don't want to cooperate? So you're going to stay in this room forever? No. No, please. <laughs> Bye, Ella. Mom, take away her words. It's done. Now no one can hear her. Ella, are you home? I snuck in through your back door. I really hope you're here. <gasps> I really hope that's you. Okay, I'm coming. Ella! Let me guess, your stepmother locked you in here and took away your words? Ugh, I knew it. I got a million words today. You can have some of mine. Thanks. Chelsea, I'm so sorry. It's okay. I bet Fiona was forcing you to say all that mean stuff, huh? Well, right now, your stepsister's putting on your costume. She's gonna go on instead of you. But she can't even sing. Tell me about it. I heard her practicing. You gotta do something. You know what? You're right. Come on, let's go. I won't go breaking your heart. This play is a disaster. We need Ella. Well, lucky for you, Adam, she's right here. Hey, cut Lacey's mic and cue the music again. Hey, my dad wants to offer you a scholarship to his college. Wait, really? Yeah, he's like the head of this performing arts university, and he thinks you're really talented. But how's she gonna sing without a voice? <laughs> Whoa, did you just take her words? Yeah, Adam, they did, and they've been doing it. They're right over there, officer. You two are under arrest for word thievery. No! Stop it! And since you stole from her, she gets all your words. You can be adopted by a single father or a single mother. Do you want to do single father? No. No men. Mean. Oh, okay. Miss, that's her over there. Why is she wearing a hospital gown? We found her in it, and she won't take it off. Honey, this is the single mom that's gonna adopt you. Say hi. She doesn't know how to talk too well. Poor thing. Hi, I'm gonna be your mom. Mom? Yes, you're gonna come live with me now. Come on, let's go. Don't be scared. You can trust me. Honey, you're gonna have to change out of that. No. Yes, you need to. Sweetheart, please. Mom, maybe I can try and talk to her. Hi, I'm your new big sister. Sister? Yeah, do you want to come and maybe see my room, and then we can- Oh, yeah, I'm real. 
so this is my room. Nice. Also here, I want to give you this. It's a tank top and it's super fuzzy and pretty. Pretty? Yeah, you should totally try it on. I think it would look super cute on you. See, you look so pretty. My mom said they found you on the side of the road. How did that- Bad men. Oh. Do you want to talk about- No? Okay. <sighs> Dinner's ruined, girls. The chicken's still frozen. I can help. What is she- Oh my what gosh, oh my gosh. What is she- Oh what my the... gosh, oh my gosh. How did she do she that? She has powers. Oh my god. Mad? No, no, honey. We're not mad. We're just a little shocked. No hurt. What? No, no one's gonna hurt you. Those bad men that you were telling me about, did they hurt you? Mom, it's probably because of her powers. That's horrible. Don't worry, we're gonna keep you safe here. So, can you do anything else, honey? Lift. Heavy. Can you show us what you mean? Whoa. Oh my gosh, she's lifting me up. That's incredible. Strong. Yes, you are very strong. Do you have any other powers that we should know about? One more. Wind. Wind? What is- Mom, I think she's trying to show us. Get out of the way. Oh, alright. She wants us to move. How is she doing that? Wow. I stay? Of course you can stay here, honey. But we can never tell anyone or show anyone your powers. Do you understand? Okay, good. Mom, why are you smiling so much? Don't tell me you're still talking to that guy. Well, I can't be a single mom forever. Would it be okay if I invited him over for dinner? It's fine with me, but- No, no men. Bad. Honey, men aren't all bad. He's gonna be here right now, honey. Can you please just give him a chance? I promise everything will be fine. The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? The girls are down here. This is my friend Dan. Hey, how are you? Bad, bad man. Mean. Dan, I'm sorry. She has a fear of men. Oh, poor thing. Hey, it's okay. Oh, sweetie. Mom, maybe I should take her upstairs. Do you want to come with me? Come on, let's go. Poor kid. Don't you want to try to talk to him? No, I fight. I kill him. <gasps> hey, stop. You can't do that. I didn't mean to yell, but you can't hurt people with your powers. Hey, kid, I was telling your mom that I'm a therapist and I'd like to help you. Lie. Can I have some time alone to talk to her? Sure, Dan. She really needs help. It's okay. You're gonna be fine. We'll just be a few minutes. Hey, look at me. I really missed you. Hey, watch it. You know what happens when you act up. I spent a long time looking for you. What happened to your mom because she didn't listen? Dead. So what do you think's gonna happen to your new mom if you don't listen? Dead. So what are you gonna say when we go out there? Nothing. Good girl. Dan, are you sure about this? I'm just gonna take her for a relaxing car ride to get her used to me, you know? Honey, are you sure that's okay? She's fine with it. Right? Finally, we're back to the lab. Now give me that. <sighs> no. I forgot how strong you are. Let go, or you're going to the mean doctor. Okay, kid, now you're gonna have to change back into this. Keep? No, that goes off. Please? I said take it off. Now go change. I change. I told you to take off that- Laura, hey. Mom. You say one word and you're done. I'm gonna take the phone off mute and you're gonna stay silent. Dan, is everything okay? Sorry about that. Yeah, she's doing great. Oh, really? Help, mm. honey. Sweetheart? Sorry, Laura. She's- Oh! 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 You broke my hand, you little- oh. Oh. I escape again. Oh. Honey? Someone please answer me. Mom, come find. What? What's happening? Mom, Dan probably kidnapped her. Sissy, where are you? Sweetie, where are you? Room. Okay, honey, we need more details. What does it look like? White. Mom, she barely knows how to talk. Okay, um, do you know how to dial 911? I... Sorry, Laura. You won't be seeing her anymore. Hurt. Dan, what did you do? Goodbye. Honey. Doctor, I, I found the girl, but we gotta hurry up because she's gonna wake up any minute. Well, look who's waking up. I heard you have been a very bad girl today. You have broken Dr. Dan's hand, so now you must wear restraints. You will not escape ever again. Let. Me. Go. Watch out for laser. Get the glasses quickly. Bad kid. Hurry, doctor, put them on. No, no. That sedation is not strong enough for her. We're gonna have to get her with the tranquilizer. I'd be good. 
please? No, you are going to sleep. We need more blood. Okay, let's go get the equipment. Honey, I'm here. I tracked Dan's phone. What did they- Hey, get uh, away from her. Uh, Dan, stop it. You shouldn't have come here, Laura. Uh, how could you do this? Mom. Sorry, kid, but I'm gonna have to get rid of your new mom now, and you'll be too weak to stop me. No. I... strong. That's right, honey. Get him. No, stop! Mouth is going- oh. You. Dead. Oh my gosh, Mom. I'm okay, honey. Mom. Sissy. You find. Yeah, we're so happy we found you. Come here, honey. Hold my hand. We go home? Yeah, we're gonna go- <gasps> Mom, there's a man in that glass tank. Dad! He dead. Oh my. Mom, it kind of looks like he's- <gasps> Oh, he's alive! There's a man in that glass tank. Dad! That's your father? He dead. Oh my. I don't know, it kind of looks like he's still- <sighs> He's alive. Nenea, Sen. Sir, we don't understand you. Apana, no. Bien dare. Kill. Ma, sa, family. Huh? No hurt. No hurt. Speak English. Sir, we're just trying to help. You help. Yes, I care for your daughter. She adapt, sissy. It's called adopt. Adopt me. Huh. New mother. She's pretty. Apan. <laughs> what is she saying? She thinks that I should be your husband. <laughs> well, she is a single mother. Honey, stop. Mom, we go home? They have helped us enough. We leave them alone. Sir, we don't mind. We want to keep you safe. See? They nice. Fine. We shall go with them. Yay! There's the exit. <sighs> I can't open. I still weak. Get back. <sighs> he just ripped off the door. How did he? He very strong. Guess you got your jeans from him. <laughs> Mom, I hungry. Kara, how do we say it the right way? I am hungry. Good, what do you want? Mac and cheese. <laughs> Sissy, help me warm it up. Okay. She is cute. I think she gets it from you. Someone has a crush. <laughs> see how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. He's only been dating for a year, so I don't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, you left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. One of your friends decided for a date to Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather from middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? I got really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished the workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Ow! He hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, x equals two and y equals one. Thanks. Listen, what about yesterday? I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had to get it for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings? Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. Wait, what? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? 
Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Maddie, literally come on. We can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay. I'm actually going to put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- <gasps> Ooh, Maddie, I am so sorry. It was just a little hair. Get out. Check boyfriend's feelings. Your boyfriend is falling out of love with you. He's cheating on me with her. I just know it. Love Meter suggests you break up with him. Hey, Maddie, it's me. Maddie, it's me again. I... Stop calling her. She's not going to answer. Heather, please, can you just call me? You know what? I don't need him. And I'm going to show him that tomorrow. Maddie, there you are. Look, about Heather, I- Save it. A one-year relationship, and you threw that all away. For some blondie who used to bully me in middle school. She came on to me, okay? And I just didn't know how to tell her. You disgust me. Check the F's feelings. Boyfriend gained some feelings for you. Figures. Remove Jake as boyfriend. You will no longer see his feelings. Excuse me? I was wondering if you'd like to come to prom with me. Sure. Really? Because I'm new here. And, well, I guess I'll pick you up a date. Okay. Okay, see you Saturday. Hey, girly, I heard you have a new boyfriend, so I hope there's no hard feelings. No, of course not. Oh, good, because Jake and I are just, like, so happy together. I can't even focus because your puppy's so cute. Can I hold her? Yeah, sure. You know what to do. I've <laughs> always wanted one like her. Here you go. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Ah! What the? Ah! I think now you can consider us even. Oh. Come on, girl. Open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore, Veronica? Sure, you're scared. Hop in there. I can set you free, Veronica. Don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore? Veronica, open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door. Open the, open the door, please, Veronica. Open the door, Veronica. Can we not fight anymore, please? Can we not fight anymore, Veronica? Sure, you're scared. Hop in there. I can set you free, Veronica. Don't make me come in there. I'm gonna count. Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the? It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promise to come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something Shit, can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't he work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on. Who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the it's kind of cute? I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at... 
Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work. He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart, four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the it's kind of cute? I can't come to your party. But you promise to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is gonna want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promise to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the it's kind of cute? I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the it's kind of cute? I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. Wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the- It's kind of cute. I can't come to your party. But you promised to come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. 
wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something Can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Four mil or a hair clip? Come on, who in their right mind would choose the it's kind of cute? I can't come to your party. But you promise. If you come, then no one else is going to want to come. Look, my parents said no. I wouldn't lie, okay? Goodbye. Mom says you have to take me to the mall. So that you weren't even home when it happened. I don't know. I just did, okay? Now get out. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to make it to our date tonight. What? Why not? Something can it really be? Sorry, babe. I gotta go. He doesn't work at- Something came up at work. It's urgent. Babe, you work- He doesn't work for Walmart. If he doesn't work for Walmart- Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred- Score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I- Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred- Score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I- Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- my daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- my daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? 
the one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm going to have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I... Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low.
Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I- Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I... Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't...
My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... <laughs> My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred 
score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... Yes. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... Yes. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't...
My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I... Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- my daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- my daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let- Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I- I don't- My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred 
score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... Yes. My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I... Mommy and Daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's going to have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours- Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. <laughs> I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Feel it. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... 
My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours... Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk. She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I Mommy and daddy are billionaires, so I know it's going to be a hundred score so low. Sweetie, I've gone bankrupt. Bankrupt? Well, what are we supposed to do now? Just live like peasants? I can't let... Um, what kind of bag is that? Oh, this? It's a designer Gucci bag. Why is your score private? It's just so high that I... I don't... My daddy's in charge of these scores, and I'm gonna have him make yours. Remember my super rich friend Ashley? The one who's friends with Elon Musk? She said she's gonna have him make our percentage score public material. I'm sorry, pumpkin. I need to make a wish. How many years did it give you? Ten. She has to get married at 17? She won't even be an adult. Don't worry, my dear. We'll find her a good prince to marry. Besides, she doesn't seem like she's gonna be the picky type. <laughs> Your 17th birthday is in one week, and you still have not chosen a prince to marry. That's because princes are stuck up, and all they care about is money and power. Maria, that's not true. Not all princes are like that. Well, Mother said that when I find the right guy, my day's left will turn from red to green. That is a myth, princess. And you are running out of time. But luckily, I'm available. I think I'd rather die, Jay. You will if you don't choose someone. I am not going to let that happen. If you don't pick someone in the next few days to marry, I will have no choice but to have you married to Jay. What? No. My word is final, Maria. Princess Maria, there's someone here to see you. Excuse me, Princess. My name is Prince Adam. Well, hello, Prince Adam. Oh my gosh, he is so hot. Could the prince and I please get some privacy? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. No worries, princess. So, I'm guessing my father sent you up here? Well, you seem like a very nice guy. And I would like to get to know you, but I just wish that I wasn't being forced to marry someone right now. I completely understand. That is why I want to help you. Help me? Yes. Have you heard of the legend of the Wishing Rock? Yes, my mother used to tell me stories of it all the time. I want to find it for you, so you may wish to be married whenever you please. You... you would do that? Of course. This system isn't fair, and I want to make you happy. I will be back with your wishing rock in three days' time. Thank you. You... you don't know how much this means to me. Princess, I'm back. Unfortunately, I could not find the rock. I think we should get married instead. But what about the system not being fair? You said you were gonna help me. You're not Prince Adam, are you? Of course it is me, princess. Who else would it be? I'm telling you, father, that isn't him. No, you're just saying that because you don't want to get married. You didn't want to marry Jay, so I found you this nice prince. I know, but my day's left turned back to red, and remember mother's- so Your mother is gone, and I will not lose you two over your stubbornness to settle on a man. You and Adam are to be married tomorrow at sunset. You can't do that. Don't insult my authority, Maria. My word is always final. Why the sad face, princess? Leave me alone, Jay. Perhaps you'd rather talk to Prince Adam. Better? How did you- I stole the wishing rock. And if you don't do exactly as I say, you will never see Prince Adam again. Too bad this rock can't make people fall in love. It also can't bring people back from the dead either. Such a shame. I really did like your mother. Where is Adam? He'll be fine as long as you cooperate. 
guards! I wish for her to fall asleep until tomorrow. Now, to take care of your father. Wake up, princess. Time to get ready. You look gorgeous. I've waited for this day for so long. Maria. Adam? How did you... I escaped. Hurry. We don't have much time before they notice. Jay has taken control of everyone, and he's going to execute your father. What? Don't worry. I have a plan. What is it you wanted to do before our wedding, Maria? This. Oh! Now, Adam. Oh. Make your wish. I wish that I... I wish that all princesses could be married whenever they please. Are you alright? I think so. Hey, you have infinite time now. I do? Yes, look. Oh my gosh, I do. Adam, you're amazing. Thank you, but I couldn't have done this without your help as well. Wait, what about my father? Quick, use the wishing rock. I wish my father was in this room. Maria! Oh my god, you were right about Jay. You were right about everything. I should have never yelled at you hey, like that. it's okay. Everything's alright now. I'm free. Your time, it's infinite. You use the wishing rock? Oh, Maria, come here. I'm so sorry for everything. So, what will you do with the rock? I'm going to lock it away, somewhere safe. This much power isn't good for anyone. I guess I should be going, princess. Oh, or you know, you could stay, if, if you like. Uh, yes, I would love that. I'm just so happy you're okay, princess. Okay, what'd you get? <gasps> A mermaid! What? I mean, that would explain the pink in her hair. Honey, she's lying! No, it really says that. Shh, that is enough of your nonsense. Hi, pretend mermaid. We know that's not your hair. It is. Okay, let's see. Ow! You probably glued it. Don't lie about your future. I'm not! It really does say that. Mermaids don't exist. Stop trying to get attention. Hey, how was your day? Horrible. No one believes me. <sighs> Honey, there's something I need to tell you. What are you talking about? Your mom and I aren't your real parents. What? We found you as a baby by the beach, and that was in your hands. So, let me get this straight. You found me on the beach as a baby, holding this necklace? Yeah, honey, I know this is a lot to take in. Well, I mean, didn't you look for my parents? They, they could have been around somewhere. We did. We were the only ones at that beach. It was a private beach. But you know, I really do believe your future. And I think your real parents are still out there. Do you really think so? Yeah, I do. I think you should wear the necklace. What is going on? Dad told me the truth about everything. What? We agreed to wait until she was 18. <laughs> no, look, I know now that my future is true, and I think this might be the key to me finding my real parents. Give me that. No more nonsense. But that's mine. As your mother, it belongs to me. He told her everything. I know her transformation is coming. That's why I need you to get over here to help me with her. Get in the car, we're leaving. Wait, what? Hello, nice to meet you, Marlena. What is going on? What is this place? This is my laboratory. I study your kind. My kind? Yes, mermaids, of course. But I thought mermaids didn't exist. Right, Mom? I actually believe your future, honey. You made me feel like I was crazy. I was just trying to protect you. No, I want to go home. But Merlina, look what I have. We just want to help you transform. And you can find your real parents. Do you promise? Yes. We just want to help. So what do you need me to do? Okay, now repeat after me. I wish I was a mermaid. I wish I was a mermaid. It's working. The necklace is magic. Her future is changing. Oh no, you can't breathe? <gasps> you were right, she is the princess. I can't believe she's a princess. This is amazing. Mom, you're awake. How do you know my future? Shh, just rest. I don't feel good. I know, honey. It's because you're still in your mermaid form. It's okay, we got you a tank. Tank? Yes, but in the meantime, we have you hooked up to two IV machines. We just need a few more blood samples. Can you believe mermaids have blue blood? Honey, can you hear me? Dad? Yeah, it's gonna be okay. This has gotta come off. Hey, you feel better, right? Yes, how did you know that would turn me back human? Because your real mother had one just like it. 
You see, one day I was out fishing and I noticed a woman asking for help on the shore. She was a mermaid and after I saved her, we fell in love. She got this magic necklace from her father that she said helped her stay human. But the day I proposed, she left me. Why? Wait, so does that mean you're my real dad? Yeah, I think I am. For many years I didn't believe it. Because when Sylvia left me, she didn't say why. She was a queen. Wait, what? Why do you say that? My future, it changed a princess after I put on that necklace. Oh my gosh, so your mom was a queen. She must have left me to go back to her people. But I don't understand. If mom left you, then how was I born? Well, I realized something. I think your mom was pregnant when she left me. Because nine months later, I found this on the beach. This was me? <laughs> yep. I think your mom left you there for me so you could have a normal life. But that really wasn't the case. As soon as you learned how to crawl, all you wanted to do was go in the water. You loved anything that had to do with the ocean. And my new wife started to catch on. That's not normal. Where did she get that pink streak? She became obsessed with researching things about you, but she never wanted you to know. That's right, I didn't. I'm not letting you ruin my research. You have water powers. Use them. What are you doing? Making sure you don't bother me ever again. <gasps> Merlina, that was amazing. Red alert. We have to go, come on. All right, you got the necklace on. Now wish to be a mermaid. But dad. I'm sorry, but that scientist told too many people about you. You're not safe here anymore. You belong under the sea with your real mom. That's the police. You gotta make the wish now. When you find your mom, tell her I love her. I will never forget you. I'll find a way to see you again. I love you. I wish to be a mermaid. <gasps> mom? No, it can't be. Darling? It's you, my baby. I knew you'd find me. My lost daughter has returned. This has been waiting for you. You are now Princess Merlina. All hail your new mermaid princess. Your Majesty, look, it's a girl. <sighs> Whoa. She only knows one word. Young lady, do you need help? No. Frederick, if she only knows one word, she obviously can't understand you. Of course she needs help. This island is abandoned. Now, now, dear, it's all right. We just want to help you. Now, why don't you give me your hand? <sighs> oh, my. Relax, dear. Here. Would you like some food? Ah, yes. You smell that chicken, don't you? Good idea, Your Majesty. Here, if you want some chicken, you must come with us. I shall bring her to my wife. Since she can't have children, she could adopt this one. Come on, follow us. Ah. Uh... You'll get food in just a minute, my dear. Frederick, quickly. I've got her. Let's go. Oh, you poor thing. You must be scared out of your mind. Don't worry. I'm going to be your mom. Mom? Oh, look! She learned how to say a second word. Yes, I'm going to be your mom. And since I'm queen, you're going to be a princess. Mom. <laughs> yes, dear. Now come with me because we have to give you a makeover. You can't be a princess mm -hmm. looking like that. Please, don't be anything too bad. That's an embarrassing curse. Don't you hate singing? Stop! <laughs> Don't talk to me. Loser, lame old wannabe. What the? <laughs> wow, sissy, I feel sorry for you. Uh. Hey, girly, I'm new to this school. Just wanted to introduce myself. But I heard about your curse. I'm so sorry. I've got a bad feeling about you. What the actual freak was that? <laughs> <laughs> Remind me not to sit next to her at lunch. So, are you down to be official? Like, boyfriend and girlfriend? I think I like this little life. What the heck? You just ruined the moment. This was serious. I'm out of here. Baby, come back. Oh, look. It's the girl who got cursed to sing. Why <laughs> you gotta be so rude? Maybe try some auto-tune. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hard knock life. Hi, Chloe. I mean, oh my god. Uh, what's it? Claire. Hi, Claire. Say my name, say my name. Sorry, honey, my mind is everywhere, but you're about to get a new curse. I hope you can stop singing. Don't bring me down. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh oh. Don't worry, I'm sure it's gonna be. Uh oh. Okay, your makeup's done. I told you I could do it. Oh, I forgot to brush your teeth. Chloe, come help your sister brush your teeth, please. Mom, no, I think I'd rather die. <laughs> Mom said, come on. 
Hurry up. Also, you're gonna get dress coded for that top. No, I'm not. Mom already talked to the teachers. This was the only top she could get on me without me moving my arms. Oh, Mom told me also someone's gonna be helping you do everything today. Whatever. Can you just brush my teeth already? <laughs> okay, sissy. Smile. Here comes the toothbrush. Mom said your crush is gonna be the one helping you today. What? Hey, nice to meet you. My name's Drake. I'm gonna be the one helping you take your test today. The teacher said you just tell me what answer you want me to write and I'll write it for you. Yeah, okay, thanks. Okay, and for the last multiple choice question? C? It's actually B, but okay, I won't tell anybody. Are you sure you're gonna get an A on this? Look, it's the girl who can't move her <laughs> arms. Guys, come on, grab her. What the heck? Let go of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this isn't funny, guys. Let me out. Just open the door. Oh, wait, you can't. <laughs> Later, loser. Hello, anyone? Hey, Claire, are you in there? Yes, Drake, it's me. I'm in here. Okay, I'm coming in. I can't believe they locked you in the janitor's closet. I know, but that's high school mean girls for you, I guess. Yeah, don't let them get to you. Let me help you have some food, and then I can drive you home. Okay. Hey, sissy, you can move your arms now. Yeah, finally. I'm still waiting for my next curse to load. Are you going to tell Drake that you like him? Yeah, I think so. I think I'm finally just going to tell him that I like... That you what? Uh-oh. Oh no, your curse, it, it says you can't speak. Sorry, sissy. You're putting nuts in Drake's food, but he's allergic. I know. It's what he gets for ignoring me and paying attention to that random girl yesterday. Hey, you. I was just about to eat my lunch. Do you want some? Oh! Why would you do that? I was saving you, Ashley. Put nuts in your food, Drake. What the hell, Ashley? Is that true? Drake, you know, I would literally never do that. Really? Then why do I see peanut shavings on the side of your bag? Uh... Liar. You can't prove anything. So, looks like we both kind of saved each other this week. <laughs> that was nice. I just wish there was a way we could end these curses, you know? Me too. Hey! My, my curse, curse is it's broken. broken! Really, guys? You got me a paint set for my birthday? Sweetheart, that is a special paint set. This thing doesn't even come with a paintbrush. Press a color. Um, okay... <laughs> What is 13 times 379? 4,927. Excuse me? What the? I believe that's the answer. 4,927. That's right. Oh, what, what the hell? You didn't use a calculator. How did you... This power is making me super smart. Want to ditch class and go to the mall? Yeah, but the probability of us getting caught is like 80%. I'll take my chances, Einstein. Let's go to the American Girl store. Okay. Aw, look at the cute girl and her doll. Hey, kid, did you know that American Girl dolls were invented in 1986? I think I know more about American Girl yeah. dolls than you do, You never know any American Girl said. Pick a color. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pick red today. Oh, I'm gonna fail this test. Hey, chill. <laughs> Whoa. What? Are you by any chance wanting to become a doctor? How do you know that? Yeah, you know what? I just had this feeling, and uh, I would not sweat that test if I were you. You're going to be just fine. I heard you could see the future. Sorry, I really don't know what you're talking about. Actually, give me your hand. What did you say your name was? Adrian. Why? Well, you could have this back. And just um, stay away from me. Please tell me my future. Fine, but you're the last one I'm doing today. What? What did you see? On Wednesdays, we wear pink. Sweetheart, Fluffy needs a bath. No way, that dog does not like me. Yes, she does. See? You see? Hold her! No, no, no! Oh, Why did you never do this to me before? Hey, Darren, I think you left your phone in class. Aw, oh, jeez, thanks! I... I love you. What? Yeah, will you please be my girlfriend? Yes. I mean... Yes. I think this power makes anyone I touch fall in love with me. Sweetheart, I brought the team over for dinner. Please shake everyone's hand. Introduce yourself. 
Oh no, I don't think that's a good idea. Too stuck up to shake our hands? No, it's not that, I just... Uh -huh. That's rude, bro. You know what? Fine. Nice to meet you. Why are you guys looking at me like that? See how much money my boyfriend has, or see how much he loves me? I don't need to know how much money he has, but I would like to know how much he loves me. We've only been dating for a year, so I won't expect it to be... Boyfriend is 90% in love. 90%? That's almost 100%. Oh my gosh, he left me a voicemail. Hey babe, it's me. I just wanted to say I'm excited for our date tonight. Love you. That movie was hilarious. <laughs> I know, right? Remember when... Oh my gosh, Jake? Heather from middle school? Yes, it's me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Hey, Maddie. Hi. You look really different. <laughs> right? We should all hang out. Yeah. I'll message you guys on Insta. Bye. Boyfriend's feelings have changed. Want to see new results? I might regret this, but... Yes. 85% in love. You know what? It's okay. I'm not gonna freak out. It's probably because I wasn't very talkative tonight. I'll just give him a call. Hey. Hey, I... Uh, babe, what's up? Right now really isn't the best time. Why are you out of breath? I just, uh, finished a workout. Okay, well... Gotta go. Oh, he hung up on me. But he never hangs up on me. Maybe I should go over to see... No, I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sure everything's fine. He's just probably really busy. Did you get the answer to number five? Yeah, x equals two and y equals one. Thanks. Listen, about yesterday, I shouldn't have hung up on you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. And I promise, I'm going to make it up to you today. Okay, babe, keep your eyes closed. Okay. And hold out your hand. Here you go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's something soft. <laughs> okay, you can open your eyes. It's a baby elephant. Yeah, I remember elephants are like your favorite animal. So of course I had a bit for you. Want to see boyfriend's feelings. Boyfriend lost more feelings. He's now 80% in love. What? No, there has to be a glitch or something. I don't understand. He gave me this today and he seemed all happy. How could it have gone down to 80%? <sighs> Hello? Hey girl, it's Heather. I know it's been a while, but I was wondering if we could have a girl's day. There's something you need to know about Jake. So, what do you say? Can we have a girl's day? You know what? Yeah. Come on over. Thanks for letting me come over, girl. So, what did you want to tell me about Jake? Okay, let's not be pushy. I'll get to that in a minute. Wait, could I give you a facial? Um, I don't know about that. Oh my gosh, Natty, literally come on and we can bond and then I can spill the tea on Jake. Okay, fine. We can do facials, I guess. Yay! I'm actually gonna put some powder on your face because you're like really oily. So, about Jake, um, what is it exactly that you wanted to tell me? Hmm, how can I put this in a good way? I know you and I don't have like the best history, but I just have to warn you about Jake. I feel like he's a player. Do you really think so? Yeah, I feel like he kind of likes me and just bought you that elephant out of guilt. Wait, how did you know he gave me that? Basically, he asked me for advice on what to do about you. Huh? See, I didn't want to upset you. Let's talk about something else. Look at your hair. It really needs a little trim. No, no, it's fine. Just, can we get back to what we were talking about? No, girly, your split ends really just need a little- Ooh, Maddie, I'm so sorry. 